May the force be with us, folks. Not another top ten show coming at you. Um, big, big, big episode today. We got four people here. This is the end all be all. Yeah, I mean, we had to we had to go big um, with all the Star Wars news popping up recently. But before we get into that, we just want to thank the listeners again and reveal the code winner for the uh, ultraviolet copy of the Hateful Eight. And the winner goes to <laughs> Colin. Wells, uh, he commented Ooh. twice on the video. Um, how many times did you guys have to watch Donnie Darko to fully understand the movie? I watched it once and was turned off. So um, four. Trace, like somewhere in the ballpark of four. <laughs> and uh, the uh, <laughs> the other comment that he had on there, if you don't know what it is, go check it out. It's a pretty funny one. I think schizophrenic is not spelled correctly, but no hate. We'll no give hate. you the benefit <laughs> no of the doubt. I highly doubt they have spell check on there. So. Um, but uh, I we kind of gave it away. Um, this is going to be best Star Wars characters canon, new canon, new Disney canon. Um, and throughout this this romp, we're going to have uh, our one combined list between the four of us. Now, pick a number, guys, one through ten, any number. Of... Do I say it out loud? Yeah, say it. Oh, seven. Seven. You guys down with seven. Yeah. All right. Wait, so is that the number? It's going to be a number um, oh, that we're going to use for the Star Wars digital code that we're giving away uh, for this episode. So what you're going to have to do is listen through to our final um, overall top ten list. Number seven is going to be the code you need to write in the comments um, in order to be eligible for uh, the actual digital code that we have for oh. Star Wars 7 The Force Awakens. So it's going to be open until our next video goes up or our next podcast goes up and... May the force be with you. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, that's how you end that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but we'll go back over that if, if you don't understand it. Uh, so, we said best Star Wars characters, canon. Um, for me, what it means, and I had to listen to some pretty nerdy Star Wars fans to understand <laughs> it, it was basically once Disney bought the rights, it's now um, anything from Episode Seven on. So we got Star Wars Rebels. Yep. We think a lot... Well, a lot of the Clone Wars characters... Clone Wars. Clone Wars the show is canon. Okay, so I okay, yeah, because I know I know they were they have carryover characters from um, other sources yeah, to to yeah. rebels. So, and then any any other you know books and I mean, comics. It's really, it's and all. really the books that uh, post um, episode six books that came out in the nineties and the eighties. Those are non canon. Yeah. Uh, cur- any books, uh, really any books that that haven't come out post seven, are non canon. But current comic books are canon. I highly doubt any of us are going to pull from them, but they no. Are but um, so why are we doing best Star Wars characters? Well, uh, Force Awakens came out on on blue, sweet steelbook, a lot better than the the Hateful Eight steelbook, but for sure, Disney got us, man. Yeah. Twenty seven ninety nine for that thing instead <laughs> of the just the regular twenty two. I mean, but. I'm bummed about it because it is a pretty dope steelbook, but I only paid twenty dollars for my version. Yeah, so. yeah. <laughs> um, and he got a sweet black Amray case, too. Yeah, I, yeah, I do like that. And the slipcover is pretty sweet, too. Yeah. Uh, sure. But the Rogue One trailer came out. Anybody catch that one? Oh, did not. so good. Yeah, it looked pretty like sweet. seven times. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty sweet. And then <laughs> uh, the Rebels, Star Wars Rebels season finale just happened. Big stuff happened. Do you guys know? Do you guys follow it? I don't I follow it, but didn't. I feel like I know what happened. Are you going to reveal yeah, it? Or gonna you gonna just gonna well, I'll just reveal it because no. I'm on pins and needles. I just want to tell yeah, you guys right. now. Uh, Ahsoka faced uh, Vader. Vader. And, and she, 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 she didn't come out. Yeah. Uh, At least we don't know. It didn't show it. Um, he was the one who walked out, and we don't see her. I'm sure she's still alive. Is that show good? I haven't watched. Clone Wars, Wars was alright. Clone Wars is bomb. Yeah, but, I like uh, Clone Wars, but I didn't. I ever get Rebels. Rebels, so. Rebels is okay. It seems like they got a pretty sweet cast. I got to get into From it. But what I watch, it look a little more like childish. Yeah. Oh yeah, and their lightsabers are like toothpicks. It's weird. weird. They're, They're really, really thin. thin. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, that's not, but, not cool. <laughs> um, I want to go on a side note, man, because I it's just eating at me. Ooh. You guys know Pixar came out with two movies last year. It was uh. What was um, good dinosaur? Good dinosaur, but what was the other one? Inside Out, right? Yeah, Inside Out. So Inside Out got raving reviews. The Good Dinosaur got pretty much shit on. And I watched a Good Dinosaur uh, this past weekend, and I was like, 
the hell are you guys talking about? Right. Like, the good dinosaur is good. I liked it a lot. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. It, like, especially at the end, it got me a little, like... Oh, like God. When they were separating and stuff, I was like, no. Someone I know cried twice on? during it. Oh. Not me. Not me, <laughs> but... No, I know oh. who it is. Oh, okay, uh, okay, yeah. I won't it. say, because I don't yeah, want I, I don't want to get, get any wrath, but... <laughs> yeah, um, dude, did you... I, I, I'm, just, I'm sorry, I just got to go over it quickly, because um, we got a lot of stuff to cover. Oh, come uh, on. But, like... <laughs> So what I heard was, oh, it's, it's not, it's like a cookie cutter thing. It's prehistoric. He goes on an adventure and he's got to return home. It's like, dude, we've seen that a million freaking times yeah. in, in, in any movie. But the biggest thing with this is that the, um, the comet misses Earth and now the dinosaurs actually evolve where yeah. the humans don't. Yeah. So it's a pretty sweet take there. And then like, it has a lot of, for me, what I bought into was like, over cultivation of land you see like all the mudslides yeah. giving way to the floods and yep. stuff like that i thought that was awesome and i also thought they did a play on uh switching humans and dogs you know how like yeah you, you go into a movie and you feel so bad for the dog i thought it was like a little like poke fun at the movies for yeah for that or movie goers because the the, the I human his, i forget his name spot his name. spot okay he's like a dog yeah he's like a, he dog. a dog yeah he's, and he's really a dog. but he's a human and i thought that was hilarious that like it's playing on our on our emotional strings, but we're not caring about the dog. We're actually caring about the human now. Yeah. Finally, I, so I think what the biggest setback for that movie is that it had to follow Inside Out. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, you you got this super original idea coming from Pixar Disney, and then this movie that yeah, it has some tropes that are kind of reused yeah so, oh yeah but i thought it was done well like oh, I mean, it was amazing do the water in that yeah the, the it, lo- it looked like it was so yeah, great yeah. like it was like a good blend of realistic and like still you know that that pixar twist on it yeah especially with the dinosaurs like their kneecaps were like predominant and stuff. yeah it was like it was it was unique yeah still. I, I didn't buy really into the voice actors of the mom and the dad i didn't really get attached to them sure. um but Arlo was pretty cool, and oh, the fireflies too. Oh yeah, yeah. That, that yeah. Was awesome. I mean that that was a oh, yeah, it was a great. I thought it was liked, a really good movie. I really didn't yeah. like it. I mean, just forget everybody who you see it? said Joey? it. I didn't I Taylor? Didn't. You either? <laughs> God, come on! I'm All right, up. enough of this uh, good dinosaur <laughs> talk. Um, <laughs> Let's get so on. here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> our normal non dollar top ten show goes. Um, we make a top ten list after we set our topic. We go our separate ways. We come back with the top ten, okay? What we do is we break down five through one, and then if we have um, copies within our within the group, then we actually fill in our holes with six through ten. We're not doing that today. We're doing Woo-hoo. straight top ten through one, and then we're gonna create our list at the final at the at the end. So snow holds bar. We're gonna do ten, nine, eight. Uh, and then we'll do um, seven, six, five, and then four, three, and then we'll just do two and one for each of us. Yep. Which I think it's going to get messy because there's a lot of characters, and I think there's a lot of beloved characters in this. So, um, should we? Uh, uh, should you introduce these two? You've oh been yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, uh, I've been here. Before. Okay. I'm the ice box, Scott, the man, Nimi. Yep. No Damon today, but we have Taylor. Taylor, do you want to reintroduce yourself? It's been a while. It's been a while. I mean, I don't know if I had a middle nickname in there. Ruffalo? <laughs> but <laughs> Ruffalo Wheeler, yeah, that's what you've been calling him. Uh, yeah, so, Taylor Ruffalo Wheeler. Yeah, I mean, I'm cool with that. Yeah. This is fine. I'll take uh, one. Trace is I back. I'll have to Ruffalo. do the Trace Couch Patching. I don't have really anything uh, else. I need a cool middle name now, too. Dude, just go to your Facebook page, Joe J. Neems. All right, Joe J. Neems here. What does that mean? <laughs> just cut off Joey J. Oh. Neemy Neem Neems. Joe J. Neems. I like it. All right, we got it. We got it. we got the crew here. So this is the first time we're ever working with four, which is awesome. Yeah, I like it. Um, oh yeah. So I always start. Do you want me to start, or do you want someone else to start? I want Joey. Joey. Joe J. Neems. All right, man. Start. Popping his chair. I want him to just. Jump in. Right. Jump right in. So we're doing my 10, and then we'll go ten, around. Do 10 and 9. 10, 9, 10, nine and 8. Nine and we're eight. doing so 3 in a row. We're giving reasons, too, why. Right. Yeah, just, yeah but just... but if we have if someone has your guy uh, higher on the list, then you we'll freeze, and then we'll wait. Okay. Oh, Sounds shoot. Good. Okay, put that's how side, we're doing yeah, it. Put okay. it on the side burner. So for number 10, first off, I had Qui-Gon Jinn. Oh, it's my number much 10. higher. Okay, <laughs> much higher. Okay. Side burner. Side burner. Number 9, I have the Emperor. Or Palpatine. Ooh, I just so I have him higher. Are we? Are, are we'll do in like we'll do in like the two range. If he's two, he's 
From what, nine? What, he's one from away. Nine. He's one away from nine. Okay, okay, let's talk about Emperor. Palpatine, go. So, I mean, all right. Go. We, obviously, he's the best Sith we've ever seen in the universe so far. He's tricked the Jedi, the whole Jedi Council into a war, which also further clouded their like judgment and s- Jedi sight and just pulls this huge coup with him and his apprentice fucks over multiple apprentices in the process of just meticulously gathering all of his like everything perfectly and then sets it in all in motion right at the right times yeah, and, yeah he is a dirty son of a bitch takes out the Jedi <laughs> order single handedly pretty much you, yeah you said it right literally he was the last surviving entity of the Sith and he built it up. He planted himself within the Senate of the Galactic Empire, or the Galactic Senate at the time. And he literally took it over for the next, like, 40 years. Yeah. Like, running the galaxy. Yeah. And no one ever noticed the yeah. old man walking around, like, doing creepy, weird things. Like, Do it! Go yeah. back, like, watching through, like, 1, 2, 3, and 4 and stuff like that, you just see, like him doing it too just throughout the whole movie everything he does has something to do with his master plan it's, yeah, it's just like right there like underneath like jedi council noses like yeah. windu and yoda and God, all this windu's like an idiot man yeah. love his saber love samuel l but windu is a dummy oh yeah yeah, yeah for sure does anybody have windu i do, okay. <laughs> I do. We'll, talk, we'll talk about it then have, but yeah i, I mean I have windu as well i just want to add my yeah. favorite Palpatine moment wasn't when he was Darth Sidious or Emperor was in uh, episode 3 when he's talking to Anakin about uh, Plagueis oh, yeah. um, at the opera I thought that scene was just awesome it's probably one of the biggest takeaways from episode it might three. be a good riddle too in the new in the new yeah, uh, a lot of trilogy people are coming suggesting out. that uh, Plagueis, Plagueis might be uh, might be Snoke. Lord Snoke yeah um, so I mean I just thought that scene was like I mean it embodied his evil like I mean he was pretty much telling him he killed his master to become what he was yeah. like, oh, he was doing it sinister. so he was and doing calm. it so yeah. calmly yeah, like. he was just, he was just calm. like hey yo Every, Killed my master. What's up? Every evil person nowadays is is sort of put up and um, compared with Hitler. This guy is as masterful of planning and strategy as Hitler. I mean, he he made millions upon millions countries believe in what he was saying, um, and he got them to basically. He was basically the puppeteer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I mean, well done, bravo. And. <laughs> Well, and he was the puppeteer for other Sith, too. I mean, yeah. essentially, Maul and Dooku were oh, just yeah. his puppets to get oh, to absolutely. Anakin Vader. Um, and, and the whole Clone War army, you know what I mean? He built oh, that yes. up from yeah. nothing. Um, did you guys know Ian McDermott is... He played Emperor in the original trilogy, too. Yeah. They just put on... Made <laughs> yeah. him look old because he was young then. Are like, you serious? Yeah, that's yeah. the same wow. dude. Yeah. He played the Emperor in the original trilogy, I was going to say, too. that's a pretty good voice work going yeah. on. Oh, yep. Yeah, yep. Same guy. Sweet. All right. Uh, so we're so on to eight. number eight. Then. Your eight. My number eight is Boba Fett. Blah! Keep him. I have... I... What? Okay, I did something here. Oh, you messed up already? Oh, boy. No, I had him at nine. But I had him with Django. Oh, All let's right. talk about let's it. Let's do it. So you have him at nine, and Joey has him at eight. Do you have him? No, I don't. I took him off. Okay. For Palpatine. Well, I mean, I guess I really, why I didn't have Django on there was probably more to do with we didn't really get to see all like all of what he can do, whereas opposed to we have Boba through three movies, I think it is. It I don't know. show up in A New Hope at all. He, uh, I don't know if he's, he's in A New he's Hope for a split second. He's especially if you have the re- Han Solo, I know that, but... He's in New Hope if you have, like, the 18th special edition version. Okay. <laughs> and they put in that, <laughs> Jabba the Hutt, that shitty job of the Hutt oh scene. Oh my god, yeah, so in the background. Okay. Don't buy that Blu-ray set, yeah. dude. Yeah. No, uh, well, I got uh, Boba... I think he's just got, like, a better rep... Well, more well-known reputation than Django really did, and... He's got the coolest shit. Like he's got a jetpack. He's got a flamethrower. Dude, he's his got ship is insane. The slave, slave yeah, one. Yeah. Slave one. It's just Django had like a version of the well, slave, but he couldn't take out Obi Wan with it, and he was t- hands tied, no lightsaber, defenseless. I mean, 
Yeah, no, I hear you. Well, but I mean, he had a good fight with Obi. Like that, I remember that Genosha fight. fight yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, well, yeah. like, no, they're fighting. Genosha. No. <laughs> Where is that place? I don't remember, it, but it's the like water the pouring plant. rain with the clones. Yeah, and Django but, is yeah. the Camino. Camino, thank you. Like Django essentially is the clone. Yeah, and that's why I have a tie. Essentially, he's the clone more or less. Everybody, I, is I'm agree. I'm agreeing with Taylor. That dude. is I, a fact I really overlook. Yeah, he, that's mad props. I actually think of Django as being, and, and I think uh, what you have to th- have to think about. I think in he's he's in. Um, Clone Wars, right? The, the TV uh, show? Yeah, probably. Django is, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so you see him a little bit more in there, but... Yeah, th- because that's post his death, or pre his death, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so like... Spoiler. I think, yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it's... I think it's a cool take on the fact that he wanted to keep... It's And it's it's told in Phantom Menace, right? That that Django wanted to keep one clone for himself. No, that's, well, that's, that's, that's she, oh. she says to Obi-Wan that he wanted to keep yeah, yeah. One. So yeah, his I own, mean that's that is... untouched clone. Or yeah, whatever. it's sweet that he I is the, like, the body. I don't know his final battle, like his final like two minutes against Mace Windu. <laughs> he just got well, tossed and this... like well, against... Windu's pretty powerful. He is, yeah. but against Bo. Well, the thing I'm going with, with here is Boba when he gets eaten by the Sarlacc pit or whatever. It might not be non-canon material, but there is rumor that he does survive he that and come back, which is, he would be the first person in that's the universe. Taylor, what is that? Isn't that non-canon? It's non-canon now, it is and non-canon. that's why I didn't and put him on my list. Can we? So, <laughs> Django went out to a full-fledged Jedi. Boba went out to, to a, a blind, blind Han Solo, Han Solo <laughs> who accidentally hit him in the back with oh, yeah. a staff. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, just a little higher. Just a little higher. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what you have to remember, and I th- I would actually argue in, in the long spectrum, minus, minus um, young Boba in the Clone Wars series, um, how much do we really get to see of him? No, that's the thing. You don't see Boba shit Fred about is him. Hardly in. He, are you talking about Boba, right? Yeah, Boba yes. is. He's cool looking, but what the hell he does he is do? The cast, uh, Captain Phasma of the original trilogy. Uh, he is just so he, freaking. He lame. is there to look cool. He doesn't. Literally, the, the biggest portion he has is Empire when, when he takes Han Solo, but he doesn't even do anything. Yeah. He shoots at Luke once. He's no good to be like, dead. Like, like cool, man. <laughs> You're supposed to be this, this, you know, this badass uh, and, 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 bounty hunter, but I have, I have a bounty hunter on my list that's better than him. If, <laughs> if, if we were doing all of the Star Wars extended universe, I would definitely put Boba Fett on the list because, yeah, he survives the Sarlacc pit. I read that book; it's awesome, but it's non canon, so we have to we have to focus literally on yeah. the movie. Well, if the version of him if, who dies by Han Solo. <laughs> yeah, but if, but if 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 Disney was smart and the the outcry for Boba Fett is. Oh, they're doing yeah. a Boba Fett. Oh, yeah. No. He's, He's coming back. so popular. He's coming back. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I just don't. I never bought into it, dude. My my Star Wars taste is odd, as you'll yeah. see. But <laughs> I'm excited. To put, it is what it is. Fun little nod. Django, in episode two, Clone Wars, gets back on the Slave One, hits his head, right? While he's coming on, it was totally intentional because in the original New Hope Star Wars, one of the stormtroopers accidentally hits his head coming in um, in the first opening couple scenes of the movie. And it's a nod because they're technically clones of Django Fett. So oh yeah, <laughs> they, uh, they that dude got like seriously hurt that yeah. that uh, that stormtrooper. Yeah, because they've, like the 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 door wasn't opening fast enough, and he can't. Your peripheral, they probably yeah. just yeah. can't see anything. So <laughs> he got knocked up. But yeah, um, I thought that's a little pretty fun little thing. So. Good tidbit. Uh, Joe, All right, that's your ten through eight. All right, Trace, what do you? So got? we're going my way. Okay. All right, these I, th- I feel like my nine or my ten and nine. Might not make it on any... I guarantee my 10s on anybody's list. Um, I'm going with Wedge and Tilly's. Anybody remember Wedge I, and Tilly's? I remember well, Wedge. I remember Wedge, but he's not on the list. I picked Wedge because he is the Boba Fett of the Rebels. He is so awesome. But he's actually he actually has, you know, credibility. But he just he's, doesn't look cool. Well, yeah, he's not... He doesn't look cool, but he's he... He's a geek, man. The guy, the, guy, the guy led two separate... Death Star raids, and or okay, he was a part of the first one, one of the only survivors of the first Death Star uh, raid, and he led the second one um, into uh, literally he was leading Lando or yeah he was leading Lando and New Nub um, in to destroy the second one, and he doesn't get enough credit because he's not in the movie enough to develop, um, but I think he's such a badass because 
You forget about him. Yeah, well, I you do definitely f- did forget about him. You forget <laughs> about forget Wedge, about but him. he's like he does so but, much more than some of like seventy five percent of the main popular. He does he did so much more than Boba Fett did. <laughs> like you forget about Wedge because especially now they added a much cooler Rebel pilot. Oh yeah. Oh Poe. Yeah. Oh. He was the Poe before Poe was cool. <laughs> yeah, but Poe was actually cool. Yeah, because you get to hear from him. What if <laughs> Poe is not cool? What if Wedge was like this awesome dope guy that you just didn't get to know about because they didn't give him enough. Obviously, he was doing something right. He was the re- he he took over for Luke after after Luke went on was Ran all away. emo. <laughs> um, but that's why I throw Wedge in there because I think he I feel like he gets a bad rap. He should be at least acknowledged. Fun fact: I got fun facts off the wazoo. Here we go. Here we go. Wedge and Tilly's the guy that played him. Don't know his name off the top of my head. Good job. He is the uncle of Ewan McGregor. And he refused to come back for Star Wars. They asked him? Yeah. For seven? He said he refused Why? to do it. I don't oh, know. I'll recast him. Put Wedge in the movie. Number nine? What Number nine you? is... Wedge. The ladies' man, Lando Calrissian. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. you... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought you were... The traitor, Dude. Lando Calrissian. <laughs> he's just doing what he's got to do, what he has to do, man. Okay, Lando Calrissian is... Han. Is... He's he's Han Solo. He's like... He calls him Han, though. Yeah, oh, Han. Han. He's uh he's like the cool suave like alternate Han Solo that and like you just want to be that hair though dude that those <laughs> that nice that nice silky hair he's just he's great he yeah okay he made a couple he 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 made a mistake but okay I made I a mean, mistake he redeems himself by he redeems him himself, himself. Day, he yeah. saves yeah. him from the Sarlacc monster he saves him from you know. Yeah, and he gives you that awesome scream. Give me your best Lando scream. (laughs) Oh, no, I can't. Come on, come on. He's on your list. (laughs) No, no, no. no. Come on, on, dude. It's going to be horrible. Do it. Yeah! (laughs) Is that 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 good? good. That's pretty good. What planet does he live on? Dude, he lives in Cloud City. Well, I mean, what planet, though? I don't remember. Oh, dude, I quizzed this guy on this earlier. I do. Yeah. It's Bespin. Bespin! Oh! Yeah, dude. The only reason I would know that is because of Star Wars Monopoly. I know because of Galactic. No wonder you have all these tips. Yeah. Yeah. Galactic conquest on Star In Wars Galactic Battle conquest. For <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have anything cool about Lando, but yeah, I did he, make. He's I did a cool make, character. Yeah. I enjoyed him. I mm-hmm. did make a shirt in in high school uh, in screen printing class for my dad that was just an image of Lando, and underneath it said Playa. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then my eight was Palpatine. Cool. So. Taylor. Wicked. Uh, so, my number 10, the only person we haven't talked about yet, and I'm sure he's probably higher up on <laughs> almost everyone else's list, is Darth Maul. Yeah, he's okay. higher. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Higher. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I figured he would be higher, um, so no talking about him. Uh, my number 9 is the Django mainly, but Boba is considered in there because they're kind of the same thing. Uh, and then the Emperor at number eight. So wow, that's wow. a get out. Yeah, your opening round was a get out. Well, Taylor's just is gonna happen. The Taylor hold. No, I know his number one is not gonna. It's not gonna happen. To All right. Yeah, uh, I was just trying to like get everybody so they would have everyone else higher, and then I'm just gonna walk out. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Mic drop. <laughs> um. All right. So let's see here. Number ten for the ice box. Hand solo. No nope, higher. <laughs> higher. I figured. I figured. Uh, number nine, I guess, bet you, it's not in none of your lists, all right? And we're going to have a brawl for this one, too, because oh. I think he is, he steals the show for me in uh, Clone Wars. Cad Bane. Oh, no. Cad Bane, dude, he's the... Don't even know, is that... Uh, he's like got, he's got, Bane. like, the, uh, he's got the hat, hunter. he's the bounty oh, hunter, dude, yeah, blue he's guy. Sick. Yeah, he's, he's got, got the, that, doesn't he have the guns, the, right? Yeah, the yeah. double yeah. pistol, yeah. he's got that sweet voice. Yeah, he is sweet. Dude, oh, Rex him. could take No, dude, listen, though, he's slick, um... He's good at his job, and dude, does this dude, he makes a living off eluding Jedi in their prime. You know how many times he gets away uh, from Anakin Skywalker and um, Obi-Wan Kenobi? Dude, countless times this guy is getting in, getting into the Jedi Temple, getting out, um, stealing shit. It's like, this guy, is he's just a rad dude. And dope. for me, like... He steals the show when it comes to the abundant bounty hunter characters that are shown in the Clone Wars, because there's a crap ton. But this guy is head and shoulders above all of them. And I just want to say, we've already, we already said that um, Clone Wars is canon, which yep. I didn't know that, but there are already nods to him in um, Star Wars Canon 8, and they reference him, and then there's also he's also shown as graffiti art 
in Star Wars Rebels. Oh, really? So, like, nice. He's he's there, dude, and he is. I think he's a he's a bad mf man. Just, just typing his name in Google, he com- it comes up as uh, as Rogue One next to him too. So I'm sure people are trying to throw him. Oh, that'd be bomb, that dude. That would be sweet. Uh, so number eight. So you guys, none of you had Cad Bane. Um, nope. Number eight, R two D two. Nope. Nope. He was wow. On my, he was on my honorable <laughs> mention. <laughs> uh-huh. um, <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Yeah, dude, all um, R2 is my all-time favorite droid, man. What What is... Uncle Owen, this R2 unit... That, that one's got a bad motivator. Look at it. <laughs> hey, what are you trying to push on us? <laughs> well, I mean, not only that, he's like oh, one of the so only good. characters throughout all seven movies. Kenny Baker. But he, he is... I mean, when you think about him, and I, I didn't put on 3PO and like... I'm kind of a hypocrite. Yeah, but I'm a hypocrite, dude, because I, I, I have another annoying character on my list. So it's oh like, God. if I say 3PO's annoying. You're a fucking Jar Jar Binks, don't you? Oh, you no. Do. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh, no. It's going to happen. Um, but but I've, I've seen a lot of lists with 3PO and R2 together, and I wouldn't have been mad if you put them together. It's, I, like, it's like a marriage. When have you seen them? Uh, okay. They are say, such a great Save for tandem. episode one. And, and I think because he doesn't speak English, you know, but he's got this cool, unique look, and. The colors, the blue and the white together, yeah. are sweet. It looks great. Um, but I love how we never hear him speak English, but you know the type of fiery personality he has from his roles in battles, interactions with um, with others, like especially you know C three PO when he's always insulting three PO. Yeah. And, uh, and but he's got a and I think what well, we said this before we started uh, started recording, but um, the prequels did. A lot of cool upgrades for a lot of characters, and I think they gave R two D two some pretty sweet upgrades. Um, oh, for sure. With That'd like shooting the oil and the fire, yeah, and uh, you having rocket boosters and all that cool stuff. So the taser. Yeah, the taser. Well, he he had the taser in uh, Return of the Jedi. He he shocks that little oh, that little uh, <laughs> yeah. that job of the hut <laughs> yeah. creature. Yeah. So well, but R two is one of the biggest plot holes in the prequels. I mean, he knows everything that happened. Mm-hmm. He could tell. He could tell C three P C three P O if he wanted to. You know. Well, did they might didn't they, they wipe said, their memory? They said they said wipe the protocol droid's mind, the and C three C three P is like, oh my! But R two D two's mind astro- did not get not the asteroid. Well, if he would have got wiped, then he wouldn't have known that Obi one was his leader or his old mass or his old owner in New New Hope. And, yeah, I guess what well, how he like comes up to him and he's all excited, yeah. kind of. Um, I guess, yeah, but I mean, he simply could have just told C three PO, "Hey, yo, this is the lowdown. He very this is everything could. I know, you know." Then but again, yeah, C three PO's like a cynical dick. Yeah. Like, he, <laughs> he probably would have oh, <laughs> shut up, R two. Oh, it's great. Yeah, yeah, no, okay. that, that's uh, that's who I got at at eight. I had to put him on there, man. Yeah. He was ever since the beginning, like watching those movies like on repeat as a kid on the VHS. Yeah, dude, I have the I have the uh, trilogy. Without black those, case, dude. All the shitty CGI. Yeah, editions. dude. The black case, though. A lot of people have the upgraded That's one with good. the gold. Yeah, no, no, I hear you. But yeah, dude. It's the original I black one those. with uh, oh, Leonard Malton actually interviews George Lucas in the beginning. Oh, nice. I remember watching those yeah, actually. But you know George, you know George Lucas. I just, I really <laughs> wanted to put someone like Anakin Skywalker in the prequels. <laughs> um, all right, Joe. Number seven. Here we go. Uh, number seven is Luke Skywalker. No. Higher, get no, out of here. On, what are you thinking? Well, I don't know. I, just... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my number six was Darth Maul. Same. Yeah, no, you're good. He was lower for me. He, I already said him. He's my ten, so. Oh, sweet. Let's talk about so, him. All right, well. Yeah. I think as far as intimidation value, we can just go ahead and put Maul down as number one right there. Oh, well, this, he's pretty he's, debatable. Well, he, just upon lo- simply looking at Darth Maul, oh, like, yeah, those doors open yeah, and the yeah. yeah. menace oh, oh, sitting man. there and yeah. whips out. Yeah. Yeah. Just, we got no copyright for that one, fate. motherfucker. We got Duel of Fates playing. We got <laughs> yeah. well, one side lightsaber pops out and then, and then, then you're like, the other. Oh, what? Whoa. what just like, happened? Yeah. Mind fucking blown right yeah. there. That, <laughs> for sure. For that sure. fight's scene is probably one of my favorite oh, yeah. fight scenes of all time oh, hands between down. Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and Darth Maul. You yeah, really... but you have the marriage of everything that you wanted to see on screen. Badass characters, lightsaber battle, awesome uh, score, and yeah. just insane Twist acrobats. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just... It's nuts, man. That, Shout out to Ray Park. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, I shit. mean, I feel like the no talking with Maul like, really does a lot more than him would be, like... If he like did if he talk. had more dialogue yeah. and stuff, no, for sure. I just, I mean, it's just 
one of the things that happens with with all one and done characters. It's kind of like, and then I know he resurfaces in Clone Wars. Oh, he's, um, he's awesome I know, I know in Clone he's Wars. awesome in Clone Wars. And now he's in Rebels too. He still survived he's still, all the way. Yeah, but that. he's got like full out legs now. Like, like yeah, not did like they do some weird like yeah, magic genetic. ritual or something. Uh, or? The, yeah, I think I know what you're talking like those sisters or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I think I th- I don't know. I can't remember what actually happens, but I know that he had like metal legs. Yeah. Yep. But now he ha- it looks like in Rebels yeah, he that he has leg. like regular legs though. Yeah, I thought there was some ritual that I heard about, and that's not a hundred percent for sure because I haven't watched it. But I thought there was some form of like almost magic ritual that they used to convert his robot legs back into metal. Let us know in the comments if you back know. Into- Real legs. Okay, I mean, but how does this how does it explain anything? If Maul survived all this, th- th- it breaks the rules of the Sith. There's always one apprentice and one master. I mean, is he not a yeah, but Sith? He, he goes into he hiding. Lose, does he lose it? He's definitely like a cast out, like a castaway. Kind of like, like what like, what he Sith, goes against what Dooku was doing uh, beforehand. He goes against the Emperor with his brother in a uh, Clone yeah. Wars. Oh yeah, 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 dude. Yeah, uh, Savage was, oppressed, dude. Yeah. yeah, that was a pretty intense battle. of when they fought, yeah, uh, you, I mean, yeah, you, you can't go wrong with Darth Maul. He's he's just just based on looks alone. He is one of the coolest creations. He's one of the redeeming points about Episode One. Oh, absolutely. Yes. Well, <laughs> yeah, I, and I I put that down there too. Like he was cut down in his prime, um, but that he stole the show, which isn't hard to do in the Phantom Menace. But um, I think there's three of us here. I don't know. I. I reviled the the original three. I can there's redeeming qualities in episode three, but other than that, I dude I can't even remember the second one and the first one is just god awful. It's bad, but it, I don't know. It, it it also dwells in that like this is a childhood thing for you too. Like you can I mean yeah you know that there is a lot of plot holes in in, in that movie, but, but it's the like, dialogue is oh, so I, bad. Oh, it's, it's in my it's, opinion, the Jedi are evil. Well, dude, who the fuck wrote that? Yeah. A fucking four year old? <laughs> Sorry for all the f bombs, but yeah, seriously, no, like, Lucas is like it's bad. I, it's, it's, oh but it's like Lord. I don't know. It still pulls on like it's a hard, it's a hard sell because like yes, I, I, they're never gonna touch the original three ever, but there's still like redeeming qualities in these I mean, movies. There's like, a good I mean, amount of qualities, and I think in each one, dope I, lightsaber fights. You get yeah. you get dope characters in general. I mean, yeah. Qui Gon Jinn's sick. Um, I mean, I don't disown the uh, prequels at all. Like, I will completely support the prequels as part yeah. of the Star Wars series. I know there's people that just disown them. Like, I, yeah, I can't disown them either. Can't. It's like it's part of the series. Like, you, there's a lot of stuff in there that's enjoyable. Can't just cut it out. Correct? No, but I mean, I was saying like, there's three of us who yeah. are on the side of you know original trilogy, original trilogy or bust. Yeah. And then we got Joe over here who's. A different generation that is yeah. is into the prequels more so because that's what he had to grow up that's with. Yeah, what and I that's think the... is one of the best things about the first, well, one through th- episodes one through three is you get what you were wanting after you saw the last Star Wars, and that's more Jedi getting built back up and seeing what their full potential really was back in their water. heyday. Yeah, I enjoyed episode three. Um, so what? That was all of our sixes, right? Right? Um, or you had, I, me and Joey well, had six. six. You had ten, nine, eight. Yeah, I haven't gone to my seven and six. But you, well, who did you have? Mall seven. Okay. So that was our. And yeah. my mall was ten. So okay. So oh yeah. yeah. So right. you still you still have to. Uh, I you have, have my five. Number five for my number five. I had Ahsoka Tano. She's higher, but only by one. So. I Anybody don't know else? Who that nope. is. All right. So let's talk about so, her. <laughs> Clone Wars. She's a. Uh, if you know who Shock T is, she's she like the exactly same like alien race oh, as Shock okay. T. She's, isn't she uh, Anakin's apprentice? Yeah. yeah. She's okay. between like when he come becomes like a uh, on the council, and then before he goes off fucking nutso. I yeah. guess is when it takes place, and she's a really slick character. I mean, she's very, uh, very versatile and like skilled, at, even as like a Padawan. And yeah, yeah. I really definitely. like the uh, lightsaber fighting style. She has like one just regular like length lightsaber, and then her other one she wields a smaller one for like more defensive capability. Yeah, and well, she holds it down. Holds it downwards, and it's just like a huge savage. But uh, her look is awesome. Her sabers are yep. awesome. Oh, her okay, personality cool. is awesome, and the way she leaves the Jedi is even better. Yeah, I was gonna bring her head up too. No, um, 
So what happens is, uh, d- who's the who's the veiled lady? Um, the the veiled Jedi, the woman. You know who I'm talking about? No, no, Joe. You know who I'm talking about? What's that? The the one that turns on her. Barris. Yeah, but Barris Offy is the the apprentice to who? Uh, Luminara. Yeah, Luminara. Uh, Luminara, Luminara is like the one that looks like a. Oh yeah, that's. Luminara looks like she's like a nun. All right, she, she's like cloaked in black and got like a nun hat going on yeah, and everything. Yeah. So her Padawan um, betrays all the Jedi and pins it on Ahsoka. Spoiler alert, sorry. Yeah. Um, but what happens then is they disown, the Jedi disown Ahsoka. And then when they find out the truth, they say, hey, we want you back. And then she's just like, fuck you, I'm going home. She leaves, dude. Like, she leaves totally training leaves. and everything, just walks out. It's, Which is... Which is on, awesome. It's Th- that's how it ends. That's really how it originally out. ends in Clone Wars. Her walking out of the Jedi Temple. Yeah. But Netflix got a hold of the Clone Wars and they added two episodes. So then you have more going on after that. But, I mean, that that is like a mic drop to end all mic drops. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then when she makes her appearance back into Rebels was a, oh, yeah. was a big comeback. Yeah, really. it's a, yeah, it's a, she's still, um, they, I mean, she's still kicking. She looked aged. Yeah, she's, she's looked, yeah, yeah she, she's older. She basically looks like shot, too, like exactly okay. when she's Sweet. older. Like, I'm pretty sure her first appearance is the two, like, main Jedi they have in Rebels are just getting tossed by the Inquisitor and then she yeah, just yeah. shows up and just yeah. fucks them Dude, up. Dude, she is just, yeah, she's it's, an amazing character and... It's, it's, I gotta finish the show. I mean, I, I watched some of it mainly for my number six entry. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, I, 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 out, of, out of the characters, it sounds sweet that you guys are bringing up, so... Yeah, she, yeah, she's insane. I, I had her at four, so, uh, that was it for you? Yes, that was it. All right, Trey. Seven is Darth Maul. Um, six is, I mean, if we're doing of all time, non-canon, non-limited Star Wars, this guy would be my favorite, but I threw him down because he's very limited in what we have here, but Plo Koon. You guys yes. should know him. Oh, okay. yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You should know him because he's really close to her. In the, putting him on uh, yeah, but I almost forgot about him because he's a great character in Clone is, Wars series. Yeah, and I, that's what, that I knew that they used him more. Yeah. And he has other material um, where they, where they, where they uh, he has his own side story. Where does he meet stories. his maker is... He's uh, he's he flying, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, they show him in episode six or episode three getting shot down. And yeah. I, yeah. And uh, at the time, I I refused to accept it. I was I like, was I never said he died. That was I was like, I was... no, 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 no. He could have survived that. That you was know, because I they have really sides. Like on uh, that black chick on We Were Soldiers. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, Plo Koon, he's. I, I mean, I, I've dug deep into this character. I know a lot about him, but um. He's in the movies. He really just sits. He's in the background. Yeah. It's like a. I mean, he's a Jedi. He's on the council, and he's high in the council too. He's like right next to Kiade Munde, um, who is right underneath Mace Windu. Mm-hmm. Um, but um, oh, boob head. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, but um, but Plo Koon and Jedi. There was a video game that came out in uh, before Episode One. It's called Jedi Power Battles. I- and I played it on PlayStation 1, and he was one of the playable characters. Yes. So it was before the movie came out, right? And I played with him, and I'm like, oh my god, he's so cool. He looks dope. He's got this mask, he and he's like... Yeah, and he was too. awesome he in the game. Really he had a yellow moves. lightsaber, so I'm like, <laughs> yeah. oh wow, this, this is so cool. Watch the movie. He's in it for like... He's literally in the background the whole time. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is so lame. <laughs> and then... You know, the next movie, only in the background. Like, and they changed the lightsaber color to blue. And I'm like, yeah. no, don't. <laughs> but yeah, no, this character is like, just because it was such a childhood thing, I delved, dive deep into him. And he's really cool. Like, he, um, he has to re- wear that mask because he can't breathe normal oxygen, but he can use that to his, his, inva- his advantage because he has like weather manipulation and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, he and he has like force lightning that rivals, um, which is like a no no for Jedi yeah, to use. It, but he has force lightning that can that can like literally. When you said his saber color was yellow, they usually attribute that to like the kind of Jedi who like walk the line, you know, yeah, like, and, light and dark, and that makes them extremely extremely powerful. Yeah, in and lightsaber he, battles. And he did like I mean he was kind of a no nonsense. I mean they changed his character. I mean they didn't really play with his overall character as much. He was more. I, in Clone Wars, at least the episodes I saw, because yeah. he was kind of like, um, he was he's really close to what's her face, right? Ahsoka. Okay. Yeah, he was really close to Ahsoka. He really does um, get to display a lot of like good wisdom and shit. Like yeah, that, yeah, yeah. He's a badass, dude. I love Plo Koon, <laughs> so that's that's why he's on there. But like I said, he's. 
probably one of my all-time favorites. Uh, and then we go to five, right? Yep. Um, he's probably higher, but I'm gonna throw him out. Obi Wan Kenobi. He's my five. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, five. he's four for me. Oh. Four. Oh wow, man! Talk about him? <laughs> yeah, let's talk about really him. close. With, I mean, like, where where along the lines of Obi Wan are you talking? I mean, the whole story arc of Obi Wan is great, really. But if you go, I mean, he arguably uh, the casting of Ewan McGregor in the in the original in the prequels was one of the biggest takeaways for me. I thought oh, he exactly. executed he has, it yeah, so he has, well. It has well. to be, uh, especially like I don't know the inner Alec Guinness. Um, that he that he slowly started displaying at the end of the third one. I thought it was great, and he looked he looked pretty dope. As Did you notice the shield is still up? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So I mean, that was great. But the the, the character of Obi Wan and like, um, just Beard. what he had to endure by like I mean, and and there's also like that big mystery, and they're actually uh, of his life on Tatooine, watching over Luke grow up. Which has never been really dived into until not now in the comics they're actually going into it and like oh, really? he has a journal that uh, Luke found and he's he's like every like few issues they do a they do an Obi Wan issue from his journal and it's pretty cool to see what they're coming up with with like his life on there because I mean he spent what Luke was like eighteen nineteen in Episode four so like nineteen twenty almost yeah. twenty years. On Tatooine, just chilling. Well, um, he had to. I yeah, mean, and that's Yoda the, told him but, he had to go into hiding. I mean, but just thinking of the character of Obi Wan, like he's not. I mean, yeah, he's a he's a he's a, uh, a you know, he's like a go getter. I guess he does what he has to do, but he's also not like he's not one to just sit there and and just you know wait. You know, I and mean, mm-hmm. that's what they're kind of diving into in this comic series. Like he did stuff. He he went and wait. like bartered with the Jawas and stuff, and like was a was a bodyguard for them so he can do stuff. Um, but when we, so go ahead and finish. Sorry. Uh-huh. Um, but I think what you were saying, you know, when you kind of go back to when he was in episode one, where he's sort of that, that reckless, yeah. that reckless Padawan that wants to, you know, fight first and ask questions later. And the way he evolves and sort of takes on, you know, that role of, you know, wise master. Especially after Qui-Gon, you and, know. Yeah, exactly. And then, on top of that, um, just the pain that he had to go through um, taking down his apprentice, you know. Oh, that the, scene. Yeah. You were my brother, Anakin. Yeah. It's, I, mean, <laughs> I loved you. I mean, it, cheesy cheesy dialogue aside, it's still... I, I, I thought he played it off... Really. He's, no, like, still... he's one of the redeeming qualities to me for throughout the, the, the first... Yeah. Or the or yeah. and that's another amazing fight scene. Oh yeah, just that whole battle mm-hmm. between him and Anakin. Oh yeah, remember where they just start spinning their lightsaber like, <laughs> for no reason? Yeah, just, just like, sitting here, dude. Like, if he's if he's spinning his cool, lightsaber, let's, I'm gonna cut his yeah. freaking gullet open. Yeah, it looks <laughs> dope though. But um, yeah, you guys had him higher. So why don't you guys talk about him? Well, I mean, Obi Wan's just he's really one of the best Jedi's out there as far as it goes. Obi-Wan, like it's, yeah. I mean, I think I have. I have one more Jedi above him. But uh, aside from that, it's just E. McGregor, which is mainly where I base it off of because McGinnis was in the first one, but it's, yes, it, it's not ghost, much. Ghost yeah, Force, yeah. Yeah. Force Ghost. I mean, there wasn't a ton of it. And again, the prequels, this is where the prequels are nice, is it gave a lot of backstory to Obi Wan. It showed him from the Padawan with that terrible rat tail. rat tail that all Padawans apparently need to have because they need to look stupid. Yeah, no point to it. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a steer all the chicks away so they don't get attacked. Yeah, yeah that's it. <laughs> Except for he does fall in love with Duchess the Teen, but whatever. <laughs> so good. But yeah, just like his fighting style, everything like that. Uh, the fact that he just turns into nothing when he dies so impressive. Well, that's because he got to he got to that point of of uh, they think about all the training he did, and uh, uh, going back to that comic series, they're talking about how because um, at the end of three, they Yoda said he can talk and and, and communicate with Qui Gon because Qui Gon got got Great to that segue. Point. There's yeah. an episode that they added on Netflix where Yoda figures out how to do this because Qui Gon was the first one yeah. to become a Force ghost. Yeah. So it shows Yoda's journey. To go see um, and go find out uh, how to become that, and he actually oh, talks sweet. with uh, Qui Gon, and I believe, I believe it's Liam Neeson's I think it is. I remember actual reading voice. That, yeah. yeah, so that that's pretty bomb that he comes back and yeah. he then we see how he knows because that, like you said at the end, he says your old master found a way, and he's like Qui Gon. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
Yeah. And, so, <laughs> and so in the comics, they're, they're talking about how he's talking to Qui-Gon and he's training still mentally right. in the art of the Force um, while he's waiting there. So I think that's... I mean, it makes sense, mm-hmm. really. He transcends... Um, that's why he sacrificed himself because he knew he was going to be stronger yeah. as a Force entity than he was... I mean, he was there to help Luke along the way. The which is, the yeah, way. which is awesome as well because you, you feel like... You know, being an athlete, it's like you might come around at the time, you know, say that I'm just going to do tennis, where it's like you come around and you're a great tennis player at the time of Roger Federer. Yeah. People are, you're going to get overshadowed, right? And I feel like when you think of Obi-Wan and he's shadowed by Windu and um, Yoda and all of these, these great Jedi that are there, he didn't get to display his, he was gone before his time yeah for sure but then all of a sudden now he comes back as a force ghost disappearing you know basically having vader play right into him and yeah. and have him destroy him but not really destroy him and yeah so that what we get is is a pretty good See, obi-wan did vader play into it or did he do it on purpose because he know. still had some good in him to try and i don't think he had not enough good in there no, at no, that no. yeah i don't but think he still hate I really you. overtook Obi Wan, <laughs> especially well, yeah, I mean, especially if you think about it in in the grand scheme been bipolar. of it. I see what you're saying. In the grand scheme of it, you could you could think, yeah, like he said, his hatred for him, and, and like I, I don't know, there's an argument that transcends the fact that you know Darth Vader and Anakin are two almost separate people. Like, um, the rebel the rebel season finale does a really good job of that. She Ahsoka cuts part of the helmet off and sees Anakin, and Anakin actually starts talking to her. And then it's like you're not gonna do anything, and then all of a sudden Vader takes over again. It's like he's got a split. Yeah, like a split it's, I mean, it really is like the, the 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 moment that Padme died, that he found it out. You know, that's like or like the 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 moment the helmet kind of came on to him in Episode Three. You he remember, closes his eyes yeah. and then. Ex- you remember? Uh, <laughs> you remember when that ship lands and Anakin's like choking Padme, and then there's Obi Wan just standing there. <laughs> <It's> just, <laughs> <laughs> Obi Wan really has like all the best qualities of a Jedi. He's got the wisdom and the patience, but he also has like the cunning and boldness. Yeah, he's bold. Master yeah. Kenobi, you are a bold one. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, do we go to four? Yeah. Um, no, I thought you. No, that was my seven f- six seven six five. So yeah, uh, it's up to you. It's you, Taylor. Okay. Uh, so my number seven would be another Jedi Master. Uh, Mace Windu. Okay. Oh, you don't have me. Here's my 11. Here, what? Mace Windu yeah. is way high up on mine. He's oh. my number one. <laughs> what? Oh, what are you oh, doing? Spoiler. 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 <laughs> Edit that out so they don't know. <laughs> well, I'm well, not editing that shit out. It's too far in. <laughs> we'll wait to talk about Mace remember then. The, remember the time slot. Uh, my number six, which may be higher on somebody's list possibly, is Vader. Oh, higher. higher. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and then my number five is coming straight from Force Awakens because I have some sick obsession with the Sith. Is Kylo Ren? All right, all right, dude. I, I, I'm actually happy you have it because there's a lot of discussion that needs to be brought up on him and like that final battle. But take it away. Kylo's four, but let's talk four? about him. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Number one, I love the new lightsaber. Oh, that's, I love like it. that's probably my favorite thing about Sith is most of them get these own, their own yeah. like custom cool yeah. lightsabers. Oh, dude, I have the Dooku one in my closet. Really, dude? The uh, bent I handle. I love the like curved. Yeah, handle. the curved handle. It's up there on the top over, above that poster. Right, are you guys talking? Look at yeah, that. You bring it. Bring that <laughs> shit down too. Okay. Yeah, but that was one of my favorite things about seeing them. And then I did really just enjoy Kylo Ren in general. Like I understand people are like, oh, he's emo, he's all that. Like look at Anakin or look at seriously. Look at Luke for a while. Like oh, yeah. they all had weird emo phases. Like, and I thought Adam Driver was great. As oh, Kyle dude, Ryan. I thought they played. It, I thought they played it perfectly. Where um, they give him enough time under the helmet and that sweet voice. They they knock that yeah. voice out of the park. Yeah. And then on top of that, then you have um, him taking off the helmet, and he's still believable to me. Yeah. He's, like, yeah. he's, a, he's still a kid, you yeah, know? He's a kid, I, yeah. I bought it. It totally pay, <laughs> plays into it, and that's, like you said, he's, it, it's, I hate it when everybody's like, he's emo. He's like, 
No, he is a conflicted kid. Like yeah. he is, he is. They going say through... emo because they have no other words to articulate how they can't see deeper into this freaking character because it's Star Wars. So I should just automatically get it. Yeah, you know, you yeah. still have to think when you watch these movies. Yeah, yeah. It's like the dude was what he was training with Luke. Yeah, um, um, as far as um, what we know, he I was mean, the one that did Han like give him up or something. Yeah, I'm sure, would, she, I'm sure. I'm sure. I mean, almost had to hey, because there's I'm something, sh- some form. I mean, Khan's kind of a dick, all in all. Oh yeah, it's Han Solo. Like, he's not. But it, it it could be that he needs to separate himself from everything that's good. His yeah. parents are are what would probably pull him back to you know the light side, and he's well, got to get rid of that. He's yeah. even without them there. He's he's talking to Snoke and saying, or his no, sorry, he's talking to Vader's helmet. Saying he's fighting the light still, help me out. Like yeah. I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm. It's still there. It's still in me. It's still conflicting. Mm-hmm. And like, and that builds up all the way until that moment. The moment <laughs> in the movie that's like, I mean, you saw it coming, but I, I like, I, I saw it coming when he started walking out. But yeah, no. When they're over, whenever somebody in Star Wars is near a giant hole in the ground, <laughs> somebody's good. gonna die. Yeah, nothing good. That's essentially out. what happened. And I think, like, as much as people are upset about that, I thought it was necessary to push his character forward for the next two films. For something big like that. Especially because we already know he's conflicting. So, I mean... I hope it's irreversible. I honestly do. Because someone brought it up really well on the internet. I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was. But they said, if you think about Kylo Ren, um, in comparison to Luke Skywalker, they have the same journey, but just opposite goals. Yes. Um, one's conflicting with the dark side but wants to be a Jedi. One's conflicting with the light side and wants to be a Sith. So um, you almost have these similar, similar, um, you know, people with similar goals and paths. And I think that's, I think that's yeah. excellent. I thought and they did a great I, job with that. I agree. I don't want it to be reversed. Like people are, are yeah. kind of comparing him to Vader too. There's no going back. You killed you your dad. Can, yeah, man. you can't. Yeah, you can't go back from that. Like there's no redeeming like. I, I, I feel like it would kind of just totally make that uh, that death in vain Killing if they Han, if they yeah. would have if they at the end of the sixth or the ninth well, film they say the, oh wow he's gonna turn good again the for that split is, second is that Leia is still around yeah and she was she was so underwhelming uh, but, anyways that's a yeah, different as light. far as like a possible way of bringing him back to the light side is because the mom is still there usually there's a big deeper connection between the mother and I mean son. how well, how she, she's the she's the force. How, in, how to, into yeah. it would you be if all of a sudden Leia just freaking lit up a lightsaber? That'd be pretty dope. That would be pretty it, bomb. She's a little was, old. She's a little rough. It would still be pretty cool because I mean, we never get this. I mean, the only uh, you know essence of the Force through her we've seen, um, except for like Episode Six when she feels you know Luke yeah, and stuff yeah. is is Kylo. Like that's really the only yeah. thing the translation. And we lost in the expanded universe, we lost her twins, which one was good and one ended up turning bad and, and I mean, one eliminated the you other. You can see the similarities. I mean if you read Could any you of that stuff. Could you imagine if Rey Kylo, was her brother? See that's I mean, I, there's theories about that that I she's the feel sister. Like they are. Like in all I think, I think it's she's going to be like, I I a cool theory I've heard recently is that the um this Fucking Fel- Felicity Hardy, uh, or whatever her name is in in Rogue One, the chick who's playing the main Felicity character. Felicity Jones. Felicity Jones Hardy is a um, comic book character. Anyways, um, uh, she is gonna talking. be possibly Ray's mother, and it might be some kind of form of Mar- Mara Jade from the comics. So this is Luke Skywalker's. Um, I mean, chick. They did take to Twitter and be like, no, that's not actually true well, I mean, from Daisy Ridley in that. But, yeah. but back to Kylo Ren. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we, don't go, we don't go on tangents on this show. No, not at all. Show. Uh, the dude's just a super badass, really. In the very beginning, the like introduction to Kylo Ren oh, the blast. during that, that war, or yeah. slaughter more or less, yeah, of, oh, yeah. of everything, and you just see him stop the blaster. Like, and it's just like almost an afterthought. Because he's just like, nah, what's up? Not happening. And then people are complaining later, like he's losing to Ray and Finn. He's oh. not not losing to Finn, number one. 
but the dude got blasted on the side from Chewie's blaster. Yeah. That was literally that, blowing Stormtroopers yeah. Yeah. like yards back. And like, you can see him like punching his side and like blood yeah, pouring they, they all over the that rage, To translate yeah. that he's a wo- he's wounded and he's super mad. That can he's, that he's can wounded. I mean the the, the the sheer fact that he's mad can already, you know, throw his concentration off. Um and the fact that he's, you know, I mean, I'm sure there's some kind of conflict within him, too, that he just killed his dad. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I don't know. I feel like Rey has to be They're... Skywalker's daughter, or Luke's daughter, because she has the Force just like that. Otherwise, the only other... And they're leaving her, her, her family tree the... kind of open, too. But she wears that helmet, dude, that, that uh, oh, rubber fighter... Helmet, yeah, yeah, that helmet, and then... There is a doll, I think, in her um, knocked over at at or whatever it is, that I think is it looks like him or something like that. But regardless, um, I think that, uh, dude, I lost. I don't know. Kylo. What I <laughs> we were on Kylo. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but like when they are going, I mean, I think she's got to be somebody big if she can just out out force him. Oh yeah, absolutely. For that saber. And, well, and, not pretty... only, and not only that, but I think, um, man, I don't know what is. Well, they're be... planting seeds with it because I mean, she even touches Luke's lightsaber and she gets that this giant flashback scene. Or, or she, or she forgot very, about very... a past that she had, which I think was 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 written in like the exp- expanded universe before this that someone like forgets their past and yeah. then. Well, the scene where she touches the lightsaber and has the flashback is really, it really. Like kind of opens windows for you because you have Skywalker relic and it's giving her mem- like a memory yeah. trip yeah. and it's that's got to mean something oh, there. Oh, threw and her back to her family. Oh, Obi Wan's voice say no, Ray. Yeah. And well, I had to watch it with makes, captions on to yeah, even understand that. that yeah. makes, you can't hear any of that. It's Ewan McGregor's voice too. Yeah. yeah, that kind of makes me believe that maybe her whoever's her family also knew obi-wan if he's reaching out to her through like the well force. that and uh what's um ben is the name of kylo ren yeah after mm-hmm. obi-wan but i feel like it ha- she has to be luke's because in there you see the images of kylo yeah with like killing the other the Jedi, and she, he has the knights of ren behind him too yeah mm-hmm. with that, which like, i'm Buster super awesome thing. to explore yeah. that so it almost has to be Luke's daughter. It's it really makes the most sense. I heard another one that um, because Obi Wan's voice is in there, and because Obi Wan had possession of that blade, that it, she's like Obi Wan's granddaughter or something. Yeah, which, that'd be yeah. that'd be tight too. See, it I makes don't. Sense. I'm, to me, it doesn't make sense because it could. But Obi Wan yeah, no, like stretching. is essentially the last Jedi. And yeah. he's super into like the council and all that. Yeah, and he's, he's he has taken the Jedi essentially faith religion on, where you do not. Yeah, and, and yeah, but, I, I agree with that. Like, but it explored went... it explored it in the Clone Wars, which Disney decided to keep. Is that he had um, he had a relationship with Duchess Satine. Oh yeah, I remember was that episode. To leave the order. For yeah, too. Yeah, he himself. And then that. she got slaughtered, didn't she? Well, that was... she dies. Yes. Okay. Pretty I mean, sure there's, Maul does there's two that. ways to go with that. I mean, that a that's a little bit younger of uh, Obi Wan. No, no, no it doesn't, I don't think it's Maul. It's uh, that so guy. Odd. It's the guy who runs the uh, the Mandalorian soldiers. Mandalorian. Oh right. Mandalorian. Well, that's that's all part of their plan to draw him into the planet. But anyways, um, all right. So we're done with so, Obi Wan, right? No, Kylo. <laughs> that oh, Kylo. Kylo. Sorry, that's that's Kylo. Kylo. Was, that your, oh, that's that's your, was that your five? That was my five. So now so it's have, so yeah, so it's me now. All right. Seven, uh, six, five. seven. Chewie. Chewie, man. <laughs> That's good. Second most annoying character in the Star Wars franchise. However, he has um, personality and redeeming traits that are f- that we forced to love him. The second one is, or the first one, obviously, is Jar Jar Binks. Well, one C three P O B C two. Maybe. Yeah. I but you don't s- Chewie that high as annoying character. I, I, I don't know. All the Gungans. But like, I just remember them? having to turn down. <laughs> I remember had to turn down. Uh, well, the Gungans are annoying, but yeah. also the Ewoks are pretty annoying. But I love. Them. I remember having yeah. to turn down yeah. the the volume when Chewie's on there. He's like, ah. he is loud, yeah. Um, but when he gets that growl, man, he's a he's a badass. But um, so badass is Joey over here, dude. He he has his uh, he has these redeeming traits that you know you are forced to love him. Pun intended. Yeah. Uh, 
but his friendship and loyalty to Han is unbound, and he's got a sick weapon of choice. Um, oh, no. Not to mention his costume and character works so well because, um, as Taylor would note, he's practical, not CGI. Mm-hmm. Uh, that that costume that he has is it. You know, he looks like a big fuzzball, which he is great. He's kind of smarter for a Wookiee, too. I mean, he works on the Millennium Falcon and shit all the time. Yeah. Right. And they're really more of like a, a little bit more tribal primitive, forest like a, a primitive. Bit, yeah. well, wasn't he like a general or something? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. He you was see a him in three, right? In, in three, yeah. yeah with, um, I forget the name that they gave the other guy, but yeah. When so Order 66 happens. But I, I would really Star actually Lord. like to dive into yeah, more of like... Kashyyyk and oh, Wookiees. I would. I think they're, the they're, only thing is, is like, dude, can you imagine like a thousand Wookiees on screen for two hours? <laughs> no, like, it would be annoying. But, I mean, it's uh, if if they're if they're like vocabulary and their their way that they talk wasn't so annoying. I feel like it could happen in a yeah. world where Planet of the Apes can happen. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the first half of that this Dawn of the Planet of the Apes was just them talking. Um, in their in their well, they were using like sign language. So yeah, if you too. do, if you do mean, something before they know how to speak yeah. or something, like they're using sign language. Maybe they're but they're, I don't know. they're they're diving into it in the in the comics, but I mean that's well, probably the most you'll see yeah. from them. And it, like Chewie's one of those guys that slowly gets like more stuff to him too. Even in Force Awakens, like you get a little tidbit of he had to have felt something with Kylo. Oh yeah, because he didn't kill. He didn't Kylo go for the kill, after, yeah. Yeah, he's so loyal to Han, but he doesn't kill Kylo. He's got yeah. a clear shot with yeah. an exploding blaster crossbow. I do that. That if part anything, when Chewie... I think that really shows his loyalty to Han for not the, killing. Yeah, not killing exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean, is it loyalty to Han, or does did he have a part in like seeing Kylo as a child and like helping raise I'm sure Kylo? He, yeah, I'm sure he, he was, was the one who knocked up Leia. Oh, <laughs> that's that's part that, lucky. That crazy man on Kylo. Yeah. yeah. The, um, I guess one of the problems I and I, I have very few but problems with Seven was just the aftermath of, of Han's death and how Chewie reacted to it. I mean yeah sure he shoots him and gets angry for like that two minutes if and that's it. Like even J.J. Abrams said like because people were complaining that after they all got back, well, Leia, Leia hugs Ray yeah, instead that of didn't Chewbacca while sense. he's like literally right behind her, and JJ was like, "Yeah, that, I think that was a mistake," and he explained why that happened. But it, it what, should what be. Was his, what was his it? Was um, it was because well, of the Force, and they, yeah, and they, they knew each other. each other. They could feel each other, and she knew how special she was because Leia. I mean, as they showed, Leia was feeling this whole process. She felt Han's death. She knew what was going on, so she was there in a sense. Um, and so the gravity of them first meeting each other after going through something so traumatic for both of them that it brought them together. And that makes sense. And it could be the if first time he's seen, she's seen that her was the first niece. Meeting. Yeah. yeah, her niece. Or yeah, it could I, be... Maybe, maybe she has... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Maybe there's something else deep within there. And it makes sense if True wasn't in the frame literally right behind her. like, yeah. Or at least they gave something between them because they've 30 plus years together. They've had a, a life and they're her the father of her child and his best friend they just they just lost somebody so i don't know um, i mean maybe chewie's not a hugger he is a hugger though he's <laughs> hug, he he's hugged i think he's hugged 3po before and that's probably well, he's carried 3po on he's his carried, back yeah i mean that doesn't count as a hug necessarily he's a hugger no but he, he i probably could find a, a youtube video of just chewie hugging people <laughs> probably um <laughs> comment if you know a video yeah just kidding. Post the no. link. Um, all right. So after Chewie, I have six Darth Maul and five Obi Wan. So uh, four, three, two. Let's hammer this out quick. Yeah. All right. Number four, I had Obi Wan. I had okay. Ahsoka, so I'm going there too. Um, number three, I had Darth Vader slash Anakin. He's higher. Higher. Okay, and then for number two, I had Yoda. Yoda's too. Yoda's on my list. Are you fucking what? kidding me? It's not on my list either. Oh my oh god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. Well. I hope you're ready for a uh, table ladders chairs match because yeah. here it comes. <laughs> you can hear Unbelievable. Wow. Dude, this guy is wise. I... He's green. He's small. <laughs> and yet he's one of those powerful forces in the fucking galaxy. And we all agree that the prequels pretty much blow, minus Joey, and Taylor has some mm. redeeming qualities to him. But I will say that the prequels showed us so much more of Yoda that we all wanted to see. Even even enough, if you get the puppet back, 
um, and you make a spin-off movie or a, a standalone movie of Yoda and maybe his race or something like that, uh, everyone's going to be willing to see that, dude. Like, he, just his dialogue, um, the way he moves, the way... How can such a little guy be such a... Oh. I mean, even the action figure is fucking yeah. an inch tall. And I still just spend full price on him. Yeah. It's like, come on, dude. This guy was over 900 years old yeah. when he died. So you gotta figure he was around, like, in his 500s around the time of the Clone yeah. Wars. No, if older that, Like, that. older. Yeah. And Late he's 800s. still hopping around. Take it. Saves Anakin and Obi-Wan from Dooku. Tries to stop oh, the Emperor in much, one last much final you have to showdown. Learn. And I mean, I'd say the Emperor got him on the saber. At the very most, it was a stalemate. But when they kick... Oh, it's a stalemate. Dude, he, he would kick his that, ass. He kicks into that force when he catches that oh. Senate, like... Little yeah, that floating, capsule. that floating. Yeah, he uh, catches that and whips it back. You could see on the Emperor's face. He's like, just too busy cackling. Dude, <laughs> <all right. laughs> do it, do it, do it. I, I liked that. Like, that was to me. That was such a bad moment in that fight scene because Yoda's sitting there for like five minutes spinning the freaking Senate thing. Oh, but he had to get that thrust he, on it, you know? Yeah, but Palpatine's just, just sitting there like, laughing, though. Yeah. But what, but what ah, does it remind you of? Well, I have the high ah, ground, and... Yeah, for sure, you know, and, for sure. And it's mirroring what who, who is smart enough to say, well, dude, I'm done. I'm not gonna be able to fucking advance on this guy. Yeah, be, it was Yoda, Yoda yeah. dude. He, he got out of there, and, you know, he's gotta go into hiding. He's gotta... I mean, that was kind of a uh, pussy move, but... You're talking two Jesus. Jedi left in the entire galaxy. I mean, There's give others, or take. But yeah. yeah, but yeah, the two prominent Jedi. Yeah, I um, mean, this guy is trained probably generation of generations upon generations of Jedi. I mean, he's really just never going to die. Besides the fact that he's a Force ghost, he's his he's teachings forever, are yeah. just sounded out his, through his the legacy, rest of, yeah. yeah sounded out through the rest of the Jedi history I mean but he was the one also who had the red you know the red warning light about Anakin Skywalker wasn't he yeah he was um, the one and you can argue in now. the end it was fulfilled but how many people had to die how many you know Jedi had he wiped out for the Everything. the prophecy to come the together ones. like <laughs> I was just gonna the say the young yeah. <laughs> 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 on the security camera Killing youngling. Killing youngling. Oh man. But dude, he was barely in the original trilogy, and when he was, he was funny, he was spunky. Um he turned out to be such a wise character and such an impactful character that he became a classic Star Wars character. It's ones that I mean, I think if you had, um, you ask, you know, 50 kids, you know, name three Star Wars characters, I'm sure Yoda's got to be in there. But he's unique oh, looking, absolutely. too. And, you oh, know, you, yeah. you got the the Jim Henson puppet, you know, the puppets to thank for that. Because yeah. he's just, he's a good looking character, too. Oh, absolutely. And I think, I mean, I, 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 I lean towards more with Practical like Taylor. And I feel like most movie lovers, Practical's the way to go. It's more realistic. But, with that said the CGI version of him was able to be better utilized so he could do all these cool right. things yeah, in the prequel. Yeah. I mean, because what, the original version of episode one, he was a puppet. I, th- I don't even think they changed that. Um, yeah, he was a puppet in episode one. Did, yeah. yeah. And then Clone Wars happens, and uh, or Attack of the Clone, um, and now he's CGI. Yeah. It, it just translated where it worked better. But and just when he walks in for up. that final battle with... Uh, Palpatine and he just waves his arms and those guards. The Imperial guards. Yeah, just they just boom. boom they're just done. Dane is also a very beautiful touch too yeah. because he's just old and decrepit yeah. yet at the same time he'll <laughs> fuck up your best body. Did guys. you it's know just, there was like, another uh, Yoda character? He's known as the Yoda race. They have no name for the race of Yoda's kind, mm-hmm. but there was supposed to be another Yoda, um, Yandel. Yeah, Yaddle. at the end of episode one, they and show her for us or him. I don't know. No, they cut it out. Did they cut it yeah, out? Yeah, she's not in anything. Like, okay. there's no mention of her any, anywhere. Well, they otherwise. filmed it. Yeah, so, they, yeah, it's a deleted scene. Yeah, it's a de- okay, that makes more sense. Uh, but I yeah, mean, I, it's I, Yoda's great. I just a knew he was going to be higher. That's, on other that's one of the big things. Yeah, that's and there were the so many characters I wanted to at least mention uh, on my list, so I cut them out. Yeah. But no. As like a personal list, I just cut Yoda off because I'm like, ah, I like these guys actually better. Than so was that your three? Yoda was my two. He was my two as well. So we did four, three, two, right? Yeah. Yes. So me. Your turn. Uh, Kylo, four. Um, 
Oh shoot, this means he's higher. Han Solo. He's my 10. Oh, he's your 10? I don't have Han Solo. I'm the only one with Han Solo on my list? I have Han Solo on my okay, list. Okay, but he's your 10. Well, you no, have he's him. not on his list. He's on my list. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. oh, shots fired, shots right. fired. Why is he a bitch? Okay, Explain well, does he look Han Solo. like a bitch? <laughs> okay, yeah, let's put that out. He does look like a bitch. For no, he he's got that no stupid way. little... Think- He's like the greaser of like Star Wars. He's not greasy at all. He's got he feathered looks, hair. No, I'm just saying, like Han Solo's so cool like, that literally after he got put in carbonite, Lando Calrissian had to take his outfit because he was so cool looking. <laughs> Amen to that, brother. <laughs> well, I just feel like it's cocky Wait, Han Solo. He's really just like for the whole first movie, like one foot in the door and one foot out, like. He feels a commitment to Luke for a little bit, but then he he wants to take the money and run. That's he does because that he's like, a smuggler. That's he, his life. He does that like a couple times. He, he and freaking he left way off. You guys talk about Lando being slimy. Yes, Han Solo is a slimy character. That's like built ingrained into who he is. But he's, he's a, a good scallywag, guy. dude. He's, he's a, a space pirate. He's a nerf Han herder. Solo, he's a, he, he he's a freaking shoots. cowboy. He's a cowboy of the galaxy, Thank man. you. Absolutely. He shoots Greedo in cold blood. <laughs> yes. You Who cares? Put Greedo's him up a douche. A hero. <laughs> Huge. Douche. He's not a hero, though. He's okay. In a in a in a. In a time of war and being a part of a rebellion eventually, and with the bounty that's on his head, what, would you think he's going to not kill Greedo without Please his Please shut up, do Han Solo. I, I feel like if and he really was Greedo had his gun worthy. out. It's not like it was unprovoked. If it was hero, where, a true <laughs> Dude, hero waits for the first shot. Enough of who shot first. <laughs> I'm telling man, there's there's a freaking gun pointed at me, and you're not shooting. I want to fucking shoot you, dude. Especially like, if you're here to collect a bounty for yeah. somebody who ha- you who's never say that. For you. Just like that shit, Kate Beckinsale said in uh, what the hell is it? Man, man Helsing. Helsing. If you're gonna kill someone, don't talk about it. Or what did, what did she say? I'm going to kill someone, kill them. Don't stand there talking. The about worst it. line ever. <laughs> but anyways, it's true. It's damn true. Yeah. Um, but. He was never high on my character list um, when I was watching, uh, you know, the first, or f- four, five, and six. But as I got older, you know, his cockiness, his wit, and yes, his charm had enough influence on me to put him on at ten. Like, I I left quite a few people. Qui-Gon was on there, on uh, my honorable mentions. Ray, the Emperor, mm-hmm. Fives, uh, Jingle Fat. All those people were on my honorable mentions. I had to put him on there because not only that, but... Well, what he does in episode seven, and the way that Harrison Ford is able to still embody that character oh, absolutely. at that age, which I disagreed with everyone who said he was so good in in the beginning. I watched it on Blu-ray again, and I was like, "Boy, I missed that!" Like, I I was so against him, his acting in like the first two times like I watched first... it. Oh, really? You were on board like right away? No, I was like, okay. "Dude, get." Get him out of here, man. He's not doing shit. And then it's like, yeah, dude, that is that is that that, that spunkiness, that cockiness. Yeah. And you know? he did have it. He, I mean, I don't know. That's say what you want on Bahan Solo, but that that's what what you said that 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 um, what is the word? This the the cockiness, the um arrogance, dude. arrogance. What did you, what did you just say? Why can't I think? But he he, dude, the, he's old west cowboy style. And on top of that, his ship is one of the best things Millennium from Star Falcon. Wars. Yeah, dude, the Millennium Falcon is one of the best things. I mean, Soy One's cooler. Yeah. Well, there's so Millennium much, Falcon's there, more of an icon. There's more. Really. There's it, like, I was I just watched the special features of Episode Seven, and they're saying like the Millennium Falcon is its own character in the in the movie, and that's. I'm true. surprised one of you dicks didn't put it on here. <laughs> yeah, I could see that. I could see well, Damon doing well, that. Yeah, so I was gonna say oh, we're Damon not Damon. Would <laughs> Damon would do that, but right. I mean, yeah, Han Solo is great. Han Solo is good call. Save it for um, number save two, it. then. Yeah, yeah. Luke Skywalker. I got him at three. Let's talk. He is, is he higher? No. Nope. Is that even your list? No, he's nope. A, oh my Dude. god. Okay, so Luke to me <laughs> is Dope. Anakin of the prequels. Oh. Uh, Watch better, better actor and better dialogue, but barely one. better actor. Number one, he's a better voice a, actor. No, you're, you're right. You're right. It's a, it was you're an right. intentional move, though. I he, don't know. I think he was, he's, I'm almost on board he, with he, you. No, he's I've, I've watched uh, interviews with Mark Hamill. And he's like, you're uh, the wooden uh, acting of, of, especially in the '70s, of of. Well, okay, I mean that doesn't. Ex- well, but it, 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 it is but, key to his arc. 
going from whiny little bitch um, <laughs> to apprentice to cocky Jedi Knight to Jedi Master. Like, it, yeah. you need that part because, oh, I was going to go into the Tashi station with my friends. Like, no, dude, you got fucking work. Yeah. Go help Uncle Owen, dude. You don't, you <laughs> think, you think Aunt Peru is going to get out there and help him? I mean, Drink she's for blue milk. No Come shit. On. She's, she looks ancient, man. Yeah. The the, the the torching of her body did her some did her some good. <laughs> she looks better. Dude, I mean, see, but Luke in the beginning there too, he's all the makings of a serial killer because he's off just killing random animals. Off oh the, hey, like, you got you got to learn the you got to learn the ways of that musket or whatever the hell it is. What are you what are you gonna do in the middle of a desert planet? No, when all you have to do random is, animals is, is in the excavate planet. water vapor from the freaking planet. Come on, the guy, they wouldn't even. He won't even let him go to the Tashi station. Yeah. He is. <laughs> this guy has to do something while he's yeah. here. It's blazing hot. Two suns. Come on. But he's just worked too damn hard. Luke Skywalker is a hero. Like, he is... I mean, people can complain that he didn't have a whole lot of... I mean, he had conflict. But, like, it was more like a path his way to becoming the Jedi Master he's supposed to be. But, I mean... That's, I don't know, that's, that's Star Wars. He's the light Three of... Three pow! He's the light of, of, of this story. Um, yeah, you do not have Star Wars without Luke's story, no, man. Luke's, and that, but true. it's not even the reason why he's on here. You know, the Luke's battle with the good and the evil, you know, it has ties to Darth Vader with one of the best, rev, you know, best twists um, of all time. One of the best. Um, and ultimately, ultimately, how he's going to bring balance to the Force, it just creates such a good storyline for him. And his arc. Yeah. Okay? I mean, I just... I mean, you can even say... That, you know, I mean, yeah, he he had uh, opposite Vader, the best story arc in uh, out of really anyone. I mean... I mean oh, Vader. dude, when he, when he whipped out that green saber in oh my uh, God. episode six. Oh, oh against, yeah. Especially against, like, the, 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 the sand the and Jedi. stuff. It looks great. That it was originally supposed to be the blue saber, but because of the practical effects and how it looked back then that you couldn't see the blue saber um on tatooine um where they were filming it in the whatever desert so they switched to green because it it stood oh, out a more badass. It, it's it was a the badass best green. it was the best decision ever awesome i, I really well, put luke lower he's my seven i really put him lower is because he really besides like the inner conflict of having to face his father and all that but he really doesn't have like personal hurdles to really go that's through. What, that's what I was saying. Well, I mean, but, but, the, he, but what do you mean, dude? Like, he does, though. I mean, I think we underplay the fact that he's never known his parents before. He's raised by his so-called aunt and uncle. And then on top of that... Oh, watch your tip. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, but on top of that, then he's he's being thrust into this destiny of his that it's like... Okay, you're you're just that oh, that creepy old hermit, you know? Like, yeah. who the hell are you to tell me that I have a bigger <laughs> destiny? Like, and then on top of that, you don't even tell me the dude's my father. I mean, I do see that, but I mean, they really don't play on that a lot. The, I mean, they okay. do, they do, because okay. he he is he is convinced that Darth Vader is good. Yeah, and he's on, convinced by it. On Dagobah, when he is training, he 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 has to go in that cave, right? And he has that whole sequence yeah. that like that dream sequence almost where he fights Vader and then inside the mask yeah. is his face I mean and that's that's a reflection of what he's going through at the moment that and what he's going to too high that yeah <laughs> but what he's going to be and what he's dang, going to be yeah. and, and they, even, they even dive into the fact that he is turning into Vader he has a he has a robotic yeah. hand he he's getting way too aggressive at the end of that fight like I mean like well, that's he what, yeah, he's cocky. It. Yeah. yeah, but then not only that, but then you have his story that we haven't even touched yet in the new in the new movies. Oh yeah, you, know, you I'm barely eager to see that. You barely see him, but he's conflicted again. You already know you you know so much about him, and literally in the movie for a minute. Like, yeah. Well, I mean, it's like five minutes with that wraparound <laughs> helicopter shot. <laughs> what is that? Dude? Way to start to do it. <laughs> is this Peter Jackson? Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, I know Luke. Luke is an yes. essential heart of. Of an o- overarching story in the Star Wars universe. Taylor, what do you got? For my numbers here? Uh, four, uh, th- four, three, two, are we at? Yep. Four, three, two. Uh, so, Obi at four. Okay. okay. Uh, number three is a guy that's well, obviously not on your guys' list and probably not on yours, which is General Grievous. Okay. okay. Badass, dude. Yeah, yeah, I love Grievous. He's just, he's literally, he's a badass. He's essentially the best Jedi killer uh, aside from is, like, is Sith. he a droid or was he once human? He was once like he's a like reptilian kind of creature. Yeah. 
Um, but he got like a robotic body, more like or Vader less. almost, where kind he got yeah. torched and cut up. Yeah, in a way, essentially, he's kind of like Vader in that aspect. But like the a mix. the scene with Obi, where just like the other two arms come out and all of a sudden it's four lightsabers. I, know, I wish that lasted and longer. And that that full on like the spinning of them. Yeah, yeah like, so it was sick. such a badass scene. And see, that's where I would say he's more intimidating than Darth Maul is once he's actually in the form and going for it. Like that's. But he's it, such a fuck up. That's the biggest thing. Like he even he he cannot do anything right to save his life. Like. Yeah. Do it, Dooku tries to get him to do so much shit, and like the dude fails constantly. For sure. And that was one of the big gripes I had with the Clone Wars series. It's like, you're not gonna kill him because we know when Grievous dies. Yeah. So you're just re you're just rehashing every storyline with yeah. him because he, he never wins a battle. Yeah. And no, when he does, sure. then all of a sudden they're, he's thwarted by some Jedi and stuff. It's like, god damn. No, but I... see, it's weird too because he's just considered such a high Jedi killer, but. They never show him doing any of like the super badass stuff, like yeah. any killing of a Jedi. <laughs> yeah, no, no, like, they do in the Clone Wars. He you does see, kill some? yeah, okay. but it's like Jedi you never like heard of, like the Jedi. Admiral Akbar's, you know, freaking <laughs> okay. king, yeah. the Mon Calamari or whatever yeah. they are. Yep. And yeah, he kills in, uh, that guy. In scene on Revenge of the Sith, he kills Shakti in front of Anakin and Obi Wan. Oh, That's really? How he obtains the first lightsaber and he takes theirs and says they'll make a fine addition to my collection. Oh, cool. Right. Well, yeah, why didn't they keep that? Yeah, I know. I why don't Sha- know. Dude, Shakti Dude. is just getting raped all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> In the video game Forced Unleashed, the the um, apprentice to Vader kills Shakti on, on yeah. what is it, Felucia or whatever. <laughs> it's weird. Yeah. But yeah, I just, I like Grievous a lot. He's, He's cool. just a badass, he essentially. Is cool, um, yeah. Although they do... They don't add to his character by just having him lose all the time. But uh, moving on to my number two, uh, this is my highest rated Jedi, which is Qui Gon Jinn. All right, yeah. all right. He is my number one Jedi. He's a trainer of Obi Wan. Yep. And like you said earlier, the first person to become a Force ghost. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, he just, I mean, aside from it being Liam Neeson, it was just a really badass character, and. He's sort of the cause of all of Star Wars. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because he's the one who's like, yeah, we should train Anakin. And yeah. like everyone's like, no, he's too old. You shouldn't do this. And Qui-Gon's like, yes, we must. He's going to do it anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it really pushes the boundaries of like the code like and how far he wanted to go against it to, to just do what he thought was necessary. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, eventually... He fill me in, dude. What did he have... Did he have like inside knowledge of the the clone the army? clone army? Right? What was it? I thought there was like some sort of riddle in there where it's like Qui Gon was seeing to the clone army. Well, no, it was Jedi Master Sifo Dyas that did the clone. No, I know, but they, they there was really something said that. about Qui Gon being attached to that. Like he had some dealings on uh, what what is that? What is that planet called with the Camino? Camino, Camino yeah. I thought I there was remember. something to do. I with don't it. remember. No, I, don't I remember, remember this. correctly. He was trained by Count Dooku, and they yeah. were, I think Dooku they remained, I don't, even when he defected, I really don't think they were, like, enemies, you know? At the very least, they were just cool Which Which makes other. him so cool, because I, I'm longing for a character in Star Wars that is so, like, borderline, which, you know, red lightsaber in one hand, and blue or green or purple in the other, where it's like, I do what I want, and... And, I mean, there are Jedi like that, and Qui-Gon oh, yeah. is really like mm-hmm. this they walk the line and it really in the end grand scheme of things it makes them more powerful because they they have sense. this restraint and all this like inner wisdom of the Jedi but they also have the emotion and the skills that they can take just a little farther than anybody else in a lightsaber conflict mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah and Glycon's considered one of the best force users and honestly without him being there you wouldn't have Obi-Wan really because oh, yeah. you wouldn't no, have I mean, him he's... trained the way he's trained, and even Qui Gon's death is what kind of sets, propels, yeah, yeah, yeah. It propels him sets Obi Wan onto the path of Absolutely. actually becoming the wise older mm-hmm. master, more yep. or less. Absolutely, yeah, great pick, man. Like I just, I'm almost with Trace. I just had it so stacked where I just, yeah, just, I knew he's Qui-Gon. definitely on my freaking honorable yeah, mention. Yeah, for sure, but, for sure. Um, I figured Qui Gon. Uh, oh, I knew. I'm pretty much set. It's just ones now. Yeah. She's number one. And, and, and we know Joey's. <laughs> and I know <laughs> his, so I think I know yours. Let's do theirs first. All right, Joe, go. I had Mace Windu. Dumb fuck. 
And <laughs> well, look, I'm not a, you, Mace. I'm on well, the side of Mace. So. Mace Windu. Okay. I like Mace. Well, I love his I love his saber, oh, dude. Coming back to the Jedi who walked the line. This guy is like the epitome of that. And I mean, I really. In his I don't ad, think so. Dude. Is I mean, he though? He was he, like super, like. No, he, I think he, he's an airhead, dude. How many times did he have? Did he can, have? Well, you can really see it. It really comes out most is when he's doing that battle with Palpatine, and they're like, I don't know if you've ever caught. They're like locked up in that saber, and he's yeah. just got this expression of straight rage on yeah. his face. You and could, I really think he that had they him too, man. meant he, to do oh, that. Yeah, yeah. And he did. He, he he was the only Jedi to really get the upper hand on Palpatine. Or, and if it weren't for Anakin, he would finish the job. Or do you think that like this was kind of all a Palpatine plan? You can see how far he would go to make a plan happen. Like or, that he would yeah, kind of like play, put this in play. Because I, I mean, I think, I think not the way they played I, it out in the film. At yeah. least, I think it's something that he overlooked because I think when he revealed himself to Anakin that that was really supposed to be the point where he jumped on board and kind of put together like the plaguiest story of bringing people back yeah. to life and that this guy was that guy he was that apprentice would you think he would like he would be a little bit more worried then well, because like he has this like you you think about how long this plan has been going on for him like it's probably like Years. At that point, oh, though, the, it was really irreversible. He has the Senate around his fingers. That he's got. They awarded him those emergency powers and all that. He's basically he is the Senate. <laughs> you know? He's not going anywhere. Damn and it! When they come to take him out, he just, you know, so. So calmly well, turns yeah. around. Okay, he's, he's calm. He's like, hey, wait, who all gets, right, yeah. I, which, who gets he, lit up in that? Fisto, and he just takes Fisto out Kit Fisto. Yeah. He, gets he takes out Kit, which is so can. shitty because he is such a great Jedi, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Kit Fisto's in my honorable. Yeah, yeah. Fisto, Fisto is a shit. Well, okay, yeah. I mean, I mean, a that can just it, it would it would display his power that he could take out. These guys are Jedi Council yeah, members. These are the masters to the next. But I also history. think it has to do with the writing because well, you yeah. think of the first th- you, when the I prequels. Just, it just that was one enemy. of the biggest problems with the prequels for yeah. me. It's just how how throwaway these and Jedi's the are. And, and all that oh, coming oh, back to Mace Windu, he's really the biggest critic of Anakin Skywalker oh, that can be. So you really gotta question what this guy's like foresight powers really are because even in the third I don't trust him, you know, he's he's not on board with the whole prophecy and that's one of another thing I really like about him. Yeah. He's just not no, take yeah. shit. Yeah, I mean, exactly. That's what I was just I, I, I think the biggest shit. thing with him is he's just powerful. You were going to say something, Taylor? Oh, I was just like, the entire time that he's like not trusting Anakin, I'm waiting for him to pull out like, a gun and just yeah. shoot Anakin, like saying some religious verse or something like that. Just, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just start spouting it off. Be like, hey. All right. Well, there, there is some rumors that he actually survived his fall, too. That's what I... I um, that I, when he fell out of the window or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, how could he? I mean, really... Force like use some sort of force or something. I don't know. There's no. I mean, I mean there's no way he died from the lightning. Oh yeah, he did get hand. Yeah, he, he got, got one. He of got his, unhanded. Just one. One. No, hand. I thought it was both. Yeah. No, because he had the he had the yeah. arm like this, and it comes up, <laughs> and then he's going, ah, and then that's when he gets lightning up. Dude, dude, dude look it up. <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put twenty bucks on that. Power. <laughs> <laughs> the force is strong. He gets chucked out like a hundred stories. Damn though. It. He would have had to like hit a passing ship. Dude, if freaking like, eh. if, if freaking Boba Fett can survive the Sarlacc pit, he had the yeah. jetpack. Well, he probably it, wasn't in the ass. Yeah, but they, I thought he I thought he his jetpack got all messed up, and that's why he. They fell say down. that. Dengar, you guys know who Dengar is? He's a bounty oh, hunter. Oh yeah, Gengar, that Pokemon. No, not Gengar, Dengar. <laughs> He's like the like old like middle aged guy with like the wrap around his head. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a white turban. He finds Boba Fett in 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 a book, and Boba Fett had killed the Sarlacc pit, escaped it, and only lost a leg or or an, a leg and an arm. But he was literally just uh, it's because of the Mandal- Mandalorian armor he survived. Dang. But. It was one hand, yes. Ah, 20 bucks. Give me it. it I didn't Unlimited agree. power. All right, Taylor, do your number one because uh, I'm pretty confident that ours is the same. So my number one is the uh, Sith former Jedi, Count Dooku. Okay. Oh, my. That's I, your number one? That is my number <laughs> one. Please tell me, though, you don't have Vader on your list because you knew other people were going to have it. No, Vader's on my list. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> not oh, editing it out. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I don't even have them either, so it's not, it's no big deal. What? Look, how do you guys not have Whoa, a beer? holy <laughs> shit. Okay, then this is guys. different. Okay, anyways. Look, Dooku has always been my favorite Sith, and the fact that he essentially walked the line and then jumped over it yeah. is my thing. Like, he's the he's the former Jedi. Like, he's a trainer of so many guys. He was Yoda's pupil. Yoda's pupil, um, yeah. Yeah, that just goes over the side. He's literally, as far as fighting style and ability goes, he's learned two different styles. One that was already obsolete by the time he started learning it. Uh, and he's actually a better fighter than Mace Windu and Yoda with a lightsaber. Um, he's the, considered essentially the only one who's a match for him. He, get and, wor- he gets worked by Yoda. <laughs> yeah, through like force powers. Do I have like to that. say it again? He's the one who turns. Do to it. The, well, <laughs> no, he turns but to the lightsaber. But the problem with that is that he runs like a bitch. And I've read a lot into Dooku. Is that at that point, because Dooku is a really extremely calm and collected person. Like he's just so the calm master and Christopher Lee. Sorry. Yeah. Like, he's never losing it. He's never going into a rage form or anything like that. And one of the things with that, like, Dooku, like, getting that, and you see him still in the face of death. Like, he's still calm. Like, because he's essentially accepted that, like, oh, he realizes at that moment, like, the Palpatine, Palpatine played me, essentially. Yeah, I know, but he plays so many people. Like, you think if he was that great... I mean, I'm not I'm not impugning your, your list. I'm just saying... Him as a whole, like, don't you think that he would just be known like he was playing, getting played like a fiddle? He's just a freaking, yeah. Well, he's just you, a, a, a pawn in the game. But the thing is, is for a while you expect that Anakin is going to be Jedi, and yeah. you don't correct. expect yeah, correct. Like, and Palpatine's literally the only one who's like, yeah, I can work Anakin over, and, like. And you show, and it shows how the dark side clouds your judgment or whatever. Mm-hmm. They say. Yeah, I guess it's really what I had beef with Dooku is that you really didn't see an emotional side to him. Whereas well, every other Sith, there's like that underlying like anger and rage, you know, or like even like pain. Well, and that's why he's a former Jedi who goes into yeah. the Sith. So the emotion is a lot different. He's not doing it because of like rage problems like Darth Maul he's or one of those other people. Characters. Yeah, he's doing it because he just wanted more power, essentially. And he's the only other Sith on screen to show, as far as movies go, I'm not sure Clone Wars and that, but to show Force the Lightning, lightning. Um, he's yeah. the only other Sith to ever show that in the actual movies, which is another badass thing, because not a lot of Siths are able to do Force it's a hard Lightning. Feat to get to. Yeah. And that brings up another point, too. Dooku was the first Jedi to introduce Force manipulation on objects. Yeah. Oh, really, was he? Yes. Didn't know that. Uh, okay. It's just... And Dooku is the one who trained Grievous in lightsaber bu- combat as well. Yes. Um, oh, really? And the cool curved lightsaber blade is always a plus. Because it's just, it was meant for his style. Yeah. Um, yeah because it's, it's more of like a, fancy, you know? Yeah. 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 It's a show off style, yeah. more or less. <laughs> like, I know I'm better than you already, <laughs> so I'm just going to use this style. But that's, I just, I've always loved Dooku. Um,. And Christopher Lee is just always a plus to see him do something great like that. But that's why he's my number one. It's just all the stuff with Dooku. I go? I'm you want me to so, go? I'm so confused on who your number one Darth is. Darth Vader, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, like, I was like, you said he's not on your top ten. I'm like, oh, yeah, Darth Vader is number one. I mean. James it, Earl Jones. Are you just doing Darth Vader or Darth Vader Anakin? I have Darth Vader Anakin. I did Darth Vader Anakin as I well. Would, I, if I were going to do Darth Vader Anakin, I would do Anakin from Clone Wars. Uh, the the animated series. I despise Hayden Christensen as yeah. an actor. I despise just the character. I despise yeah. best pilot. Uh, George Lucas seen. and how he wrote just the shittiest lines for this guy. Yeah. Like, I mean, you want to see how good of an actor Hayden Christensen is? Go watch like Night of the Living Dummy like four. He is. I didn't even know it was him, but I was telling Allie. I was like, we were watching this during Halloween and shit. I was like, who is this clown? Like, he never made it. And it's like. Holy shit, that's Anakin Skywalker. <laughs> like, my mind blew up. And it's like, no. I mean, he had some okay things, but I definitely like Anakin better in the Clone Wars. Yeah. But for me, Vader, dude, has always been just that that towering character with no fear. Um, you know, he gets his happy ending at the end, which is one of the beefs that I have with The Force Awakens, where... 
does doesn't Kylo know that he reconciled with his family before I, he died? Like, are you stupid? Like, why well, would you? How, why would you want to go and be as bad as Darth Vader when maybe, he had light in him too? That maybe he stupid. doesn't know that because if you think about it, who was there to experience it? It was just Luke and him. It's it was true, but if, if you're Luke. my if you're my sister and you know I'm like, hey, shit, dude, Darth Vader was our dad, yeah, especially Luke. But he came him out. Too. He yeah. came out after saying like, you know. You and especially if, like, I don't know, there had to be some form of telltale signs that, that Kylo was going through something growing up, you know what I mean? To yeah. get to the point of literally betraying the Jedi and then jumping ships. I um, thought it was a cheap way to get Vader into it, it, which I guess I would be more pissed if I didn't see anything Darth Vader <laughs> in it than I would. So uh, I think you know. it's I think it's to the legacy of what Darth I mean, think about it. Darth Vader had 20, 30 years that he had 20-some years to build up with Palpatine and build up the Empire to what it was in, in New Hope, um, or I mean even Jedi, really. Um, and so may, maybe it's to the legacy of him, or of, of what Vader, but back to what But the music Vader. suits him so well, you know, his costume is great, all black, the the sweet mask, yeah. you know, that raspy breathing. The force um, choke. Yeah, the force choke, they're like, this dude's not going to take shit from anybody. From across I, the galaxy. Yeah, I even. really <laughs> think that he's... I don't never. I've never seen anybody else use the force choke. No, it's kind of like a thing just, he did. Like I feel like Vader has just like an obsession. Had Vader move. Like, it is. Maybe that's like his orgasm thing. Is he has to <laughs> oh, force yeah. choke people because he does it on a constant basis. Like you gotta figure there's a reason behind it aside but, from yeah. just like yeah. If you're he's, getting force choked by Vader. You you fucked up. <laughs> he's super strong. He's fearless. You know he's still willing to get into. Um, you know, I don't know. It's, he's, he doesn't ride in a, a TIE fighter. Yeah, he does. No, no, it was like that weird one. He though. had like his own his, personal TIE fighter. It was, like a, oh, fighter fighter it was like a destroyer TIE fighter or something. Yeah, like so like, but one. he's still willing to go out there and get his hands dirty. And, you know, he's, I mean, oh shit, I was reading out the other one. But um, <laughs> he's, uh, it's funny because he still answers to the emperor after all of that and then at the end you know his story arc and then you go back and get anakin's arc and it's like dude anakin please don't become vader and it's like <laughs> it's, it's awesome you know yeah I, I mean, and now what know. skywalker you will die <laughs> what i say is that star wars one through six is Vader it's, it's a Vader saga. It's a Vader story. It's Anakin to Vader. That's like the overarching. I mean, yeah, you have Luke's story from four to six, but it's it's Star Wars is Vader and his um, ascent from the being the 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 destiny of what Qui Gon saw in him to becoming Darth Vader and then finally you know living up to what he was supposed to be i guess by yeah. throwing he was the a chosen over. one <laughs> um but i mean and and i mean obviously i'm leaning more towards vader 2 specifically but you can even like the you can sense the conflict in him in return of the jedi you 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 can tell like even though he can't display it with emotions through the through the mask, you can tell he's feeling something. Like just just the looks back when when Palpatine when Emperor is is force lightning uh, Luke at the end, and, and 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 he's looking back and forth between them. You can tell, you can feel like that he is going through something. And I feel like I don't know, just just that character. Well, I mean, it's that, or he just couldn't see out of the mask at that <laughs> so he's point. Trying, he's like, he's like, what's going on? <laughs> Shit, where is everybody? <laughs> um, and I mean, if there's not a more iconic Star Wars character, I don't know what is. Yep. He is, he is the epitome of Star Wars yeah. in every sense of it. Uh, exactly, strongest, one of the strongest um, Force wielders. Um, he probably could have been the strongest if he had actually refined his ability. Yeah. Like he was oh, just absolutely. He's essentially raw power. And yeah. you can see that, and that's something cool that I like about Vader's fighting style and something there is that he literally, it's about raw power. Like, yeah. he's not doing fancy stuff. And I have more around the list, yes, but it's more of, I'm just going to crush you. Well, that, it's it, and not, it's also his, his uh, mobility, too. Yeah. I mean, his legs got friggin' chopped off. You know, well, so it's like he's, he's just this brute. He's got a... And he, he can't move very well, but, I mean, it could mm -hmm. be also the time, you know, the 70s well, when you to, see him. And what yeah. the, their explanation is that he adjusts to a whole different fighting style in general. Well, but, I mean, even in 
the prequels, you can see some of that brute fighting style with Anakin. Like, there's moments where Anakin is just trying to overpower yeah. people instead oh, yeah, of absolutely. doing, like, Obi-Wan's well, fancy the whole, moves or The whole anything. fight uh, when he first meets Dooku, he's yeah, trying to overpower him the whole time, and yep. it obviously didn't help him. Yeah, because yeah. um, uh, Dooku took his arm. Yeah, but Darth Vader is best Star Wars character hands down. Remember I mean. right. you told me with your mother and the sand people? <laughs> Um, anyways, all right, let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, so I'm down for Vader at one. Oh yeah, yeah. It outweighs all of yours. So well, I mean, 50%. I can accept Vader at I one. Can I'm fine also with that, accept yeah. Vader at number one. You didn't put any input on Vader. Do you like Vader? I'm. I am a fan of Vader. Yeah. Right, okay. Cool. Um, so we yeah, need uh, number two now. I have Yoda. What do you have? Wait. For my number two was yes. Qui Gon. Oh yeah, you also have your number one. My is number Dooku. one was Dooku. Luke Skywalker is my number two. My number two is Yoda. My number one is Mace Windu. Okay. I personally, would put Windu above Yoda. For we're this. going by. We sh- is it fair to just do averages? Are you guys fair with that? Yeah, I mean yeah, that's kind of if there's especially something... if we're making a list out of the four of us. Yeah. Yeah. Average it's it's fair. Kind of so averages. there's two of us with Yoda, Yoda at two. two. And the rest is all kind of ones, so I would go Yoda. Yoda. It's right. fine. It's understandable to have Yoda higher up too. So you would just say today <clears throat> uh, Star Wars yeah. scores <clears throat> goes back to that episode. All right. Um. So now we have to talk about threes. I have Luke at. I have Luke Skywalker at three. You still have one and two yet. Yeah, I still have Dooku, Qui Gon, and now Grievous. Oh shit. <laughs> Luke Skywalker at two. I have Mace Windu. Who don't you have on the list yet? You have Yoda, probably. That's it. Um, who are we talking about right now? Skywalker? We're talking about three. The third spot. Oh, my third was Vader. So, so, Vader's, so Vader's already on gone. there. So then you need your one, my one and was he Windu, needs his one. And then, I mean, four. We all have Obi-Wan, so. Well, that's the spot you can just fill then. Four. Oh, wait. What are you, Five. Huh? He was Aren't five. You? Yeah, he was, was five, five for me as well. Okay, then put five and then take their number ones for three, uh, for three and four, or four and or whatever. Well, three don't you both have Luke high? Yeah, we do. So but we <sighs> at some point we have to make uh, an agreement here. Um, are you? I mean, are you guys? Obviously, they're your number ones. You kind of want them high. You don't want him to drop just Look, six Or at least on the freaking the, list. If he's on yes, the list. No, I, I, yeah. Did you hear what I did with the Damon's V for Vendetta? No, what'd you do? It was uh, comic book movies, and he had V for D- Vendetta on there, and I, I pushed him so far back and knocked it off the list. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I care about Dooku being on the list, but I understand he is not... He's not a huge character that everyone like knows about or loves to the extent that I do. So if he's a little bit lower, I understand. Okay, so it's we're the we're same way with Windu. He's kind we're of acceptable. Okay, well then we got to do Luke at three because he's on three of the people's list yeah, and he's Luke on mine on at three. And then put Obi Wan. Obi Wan at four. Obi Wan is four. And then Yorga has six and seven or five and six. How do you want to do that? A classic rock paper scissors. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, but you have to also. Well, no, I'm down with that because we both have Ahsoka Tano at what? I have at four. I had her at five. So we have four and five for Ahsoka. You guys didn't have her on it at all, but I'm more open to putting your guys' ones up there before yeah, we put sure. that on there. So mm-hmm. Dooku versus Windu, I'm probably. I, mean, I think I'm the only one who had Dooku on the list. I actually have Mace on my list as well. I mean, I wouldn't <laughs> rank. I don't oh. have them on my list. Really. Uh, honorable mentions, I had... Fuck. I had Dooku and Mace for honorable mes- mentions. Oh, I didn't have either, but, but I, also, I had Qui-Gon was... on my honorables. Yeah, Qui-Gon would be my um, next one if I was going to pull. Okay, so you guys got... Um... It's going to be have to rock over scissors. There's no way to justify it. Oh, well, we have bottle caps. Let's do it. <laughs> bottle caps? <laughs> All right. Well, see, I think it's a little unfair to flip a bottle cap, so let's just do this. I'll put two in there, and Trace will pick out of my hat. Um, what do we have? We have two different ones. Dooku, Dooku and Windu. which one's darker, Dooku and Windu? Uh, Dooku. We have the yeah, sun yeah. and the black, and yeah. then uh, Hakashore is uh, Windu. Hey, here, bro. <laughs> I'm Good trying job. not to look. Dooku. Dooku. Is... All right. <laughs> Dooku. It's cool because I used my force powers. To yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're at. 
Count Doily it came up as. <laughs> great, great. And then uh, Mace Pussy we do. <laughs> Forgot. It's the only one who takes out the Emperor. He doesn't take him out. Oh, he was... And Bunch Yoda would have had him anyway. bombs him. But you, I mean, well, I still have the cap in my hat. Um, <laughs> all right, so we are at, boys, we are at number seven. Um, well, at least for me, I still have Qui-Gon, Grievous, um, then would be Kylo Ren are the three that I... You know what one that I think we all are overlooking? Darth Maul. Maul is... Maul was on... I have him back at 10. He was at 7. I have him at 6. He had him at 6. I personally Kylo wouldn't Ren, put would Qui-Gon before five. Maul. Kylo was though. 5 for me, too. Did we all have Qui-Gon on our list? No, he no. was my 11. So let's do this. I, um, so you guys had 2... You had Kylo, Kylo Ren at, at five. 5. Correct. You had... We had um, Maul at 6. So I think... I had him at 7. And, uh, yeah, same one. All right, so let's just do Kylo. At... You do Maul. I mean, Maul was on. Maul was on all of our lists. All of our lists. Okay. Yeah. Just because Kylo Ooh. wasn't on. The now, air. for those of you listening, the code, um, the answer to the code for the to win the code will be Darth Maul because he is our seven. Yeah. So. Awesome. Darth Maul. Uh, and Kylo then we have Ren. Kylo Ren at eight. Yeah. Now it's Kylie now. Now, now it's uh, a slugfest. I I know. My nine and ten aren't gonna make it, and my six probably won't make it either. Um, so. um well, I still have Ahsoka Tano at four. He has him at five. But the thing is, is there's the Emperor yet too. Oh my god! <laughs> we only have two spots, right? We have nine and ten left. Well, I mean, I I understand if none of my the rest of mine make it. So wait, Obi Wan. Wait, yeah, he's already. Yeah, he's there. Han Solo was my third. He's my ten. Not on me. Uh, I don't have Han but Solo. I, uh, He's in my honorable. That counts. He would definitely be an honorable. I'm gonna lose sleep over this one because there's still R2D2. Oh man. <laughs> and Chewbacca, dude. I'm hey, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Both of which are honorables. For me. <laughs> All right. Um, we're gonna do this the old-fashioned yeah. way, tournament style. Yeah. Uh, so let's put two people in the hat and eliminate one. I say we put Ahsoka Tano in there for the sun, and we have. There's another one I got. Um, Lion and Kugel's Honey Weiss for who is she gonna go up against? To Qui Gon. Qui Gon. Um, so this is to eliminate. Are we? A- a lim- one, how about the one picked is the saved? One picked is saved. Yeah. One picked is saved. Okay. Um, and we'll go at. Hold on though. How many how many characters we have left here? <laughs> Chewbacca, R two D two. Which ones are going to be uh, up for it? Qui Gon. Let's just do this. Do we have enough? Palpatine. Here I got a paper. Qui Gon and Palpatine is the. Yeah, the I mean, major wait, ones wait, wait, wait. that I would say. And Han Solo. Boba was like my number eight, but it's definitely not going to be. Dude, uh, Boba does not deserve yeah, it. Okay. No, we have Qui-Gon and then I have the Emperor, so. So, Qui-Gon, Emperor, um, Ahsoka. Qui-Gon, Emperor, Ahsoka? That's it? Ahsoka. And, and R2-D2. Han Solo, uh, and Han Solo. Han and R2. Well, Art. Was R2 on anyone else's list? Uh, No, I think he was just on Scott's. Yeah. Because Han was on other people's lists. So because yeah, he but he's two. like he was clinging. I'd rather have Ahsoka on than him. But well, no, I'm saying over R two D two because oh, yeah. no one. That's R2. right. Just keep him as an honorable. <laughs> I love you, R two. All right, man. Top honorable R two. So we, R2. So we only so have four then. Okay, we have four bottle caps. Ahsoka, Han. Okay. So we got Qui Gon. Um, what is what matches up more with the Mike's Hard Lemonade? Oh, that's that's <laughs> Emperor Palpatine. All right, yeah, that's Palpatine's, Palpatine's the Mike's Hard black. Lemonade. Um. Yellow, let's go Ahsoka, Ahsoka because she had this yellow saber. The sun, let's go um, uh, Qui Gon. Seems to be everlasting. And then the Hakashore, uh, we'll Han go Solo. Han Solo. Han. We remember these now? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Only two will make it, and this is intense, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, how does this work now? Uh, pick, pick two, pick and the safe. two win are safe. Two guests in the home. Yeah! Han. Yeah! Han's in at nine. Qui Gon. Shit, man! Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah, buddy. I would argue the Emperor deserves to be on there. What but do you think? 
I mean, I would say the Emperor probably deserves to be on there, but I have a lot of love for Qui Gon. <laughs> <laughs> he did win the toss. He, it's true. He won, I mean, he won fate. He won. Fate was on his side. The, the force, force goes. Goes. <laughs> the dark force. And so What's we're okay force? with Qui Gon at, at ten. Yeah. All right. Jar 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 Jar. <laughs> Dude, he's a Sith, man. Which would mean... A Sith load? Uh, Emperor and Ahsoka would be essentially our honorable mentions then. And R2. <laughs> and R2, yeah. All right, so we'll get right into the honorable mentions. Um, I'll do 10, 9, 8... Oh, wait, wait. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Well, we'll just, we'll just wing it. Um, so our honorable mentions for none of their top 10 shows, uh, top 10 best... Star Wars characters, canon, new canon. Um, honorable mentions, we have Emperor Palpatine, don't hate us, or do hate us in the comments, uh, and Ahsoka Tano, do hate us in the comments for that one. Um, <laughs> so, number 10 is Qui-Gon Jinn. Did you say Gin or Jinn? Jinn. Jin. Qui-Gon uh, Jinn and Tonic. Number 9, Han Solo. Number 8, Kylo Ren. Pick up at number seven, which is our keyword. So type Darth Maul in to be in the running for the code, uh, the Star Wars Force Awakens um, digital code. Mm -hmm. okay. So number seven is Darth Maul. Number six is Mace Windu. Am I doing five as well? Yeah. Sure. All right. And number five is Count Dooku. Shinku. So you do, you do four, three, two, and Joey, I'll do one. Sorry. Um, four is Obi-Wan Kenobi. Ben Kenobi, old Ben. That three. hermit. Three is Luke Skywalker. Number two, Jedi Master Yoda. And number one... Ba -da -da -da. <laughs> like they don't know. <laughs> oh, Darth Vader. Look, may the force be with you. Thank you for listening. Uh, like us, share. This is a long one, man. Uh, yeah. Buck 50. Oh, so, shit. Uh, Holy shit. Li listen to it in parts if you have to. Make sure you remember the code. Um, Darth Maul is a keyword. Give us a cool tidbit about him in the comments section or just leave his name to be in the running for uh, the ultraviolet code or whatever digital code uh, the Star Wars Force Awakens has. And thank you for listening. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, you guys are doing awesome. We're up to 22 subscribers. All right. Most impressive. And we will leave you with this. It's a trap. Ah.